Trump, I'm glad that we're finally friends again. I am too. Also, I think this is a good opportunity for you to move back. I would love to move back, but I have a store to run. Mike, let's be honest, you probably don't have any customers at all. So there's literally no point in having this store. That may be true, but it makes me happy. If it makes you happy, then why don't you just move the store? I mean, it will be the same as it is now. Oh, that's actually a great idea. But what if I don't want to move back? Oh, well, I guess my good old friend doesn't want to see my face anymore. Trump, stop being a crybaby. Fine, I'll move back. Yay. Okay, I'll go clear a spot for your new house. All right. Okay, I need to make sure that Joe didn't actually screw up the timeline. You got to be kidding me. He went back one day. Whoa, what the heck just happened? Dog, I think I messed something up when I time traveled. Oh, no. Joe, I'm going to get you back for blowing up my wall. Joe, are you there? Ah, uh, whatever. What the actual f*** is going on? Oh, my gosh. The server is way different. Hey, I think that's my house. Back off, Trump. Dog, this is very weird. Hello? Is anyone on this call? Okay, I think I'm good. I gotta plant this boom boom in Trump's house. Holy moly, Joe's house is looking fire. Come on, Nixon, focus. Okay, let's do this. I got this boom boom. We'll place that down and I'll blow it up. Take that, Donald Trunk. Hmm, I am a little bit curious about this new house. Hello, is anyone home? Even though this house is made of dirt and mud, I think it's pretty darn good. Nixon, Bush told me that you were finna ready to blow up my house. Donald, I would never do anything like that. I'm literally going to blow up Joe's house for what he has started. Whoa, 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 let's not do that. Bro started this whole nickname thing, so he deserves it. Wait, I'll stop calling you nicknames, all right? Hmm, okay, fine. But if I hear anyone else call me by a stupid nickname, then I will do it. Geez, Trump needs to chill the hell out. First he wants to nuke a tornado, and now he wants to blow up this beautiful house. He needs to get his priorities straight. I need to get the hell out of this timeline. Wait, is that who I think it is? Snoople, I can't believe you're alive. Oh shoot, I forgot that I'm not supposed to interact with anything. Actually, this dog isn't very smart, so it wouldn't be able to affect the timeline. Okay, I have to get the hell out of town before I get seen. So Joe got out of town as fast as his sleepy head could and tried to think of a plan to get back. Bro, I don't even know what to do. This whole thing happened so fast. Come on, Joe, think. Hmm, maybe I can eat some ice cream. No, that won't work. Ugh, I can't think of anything. Oh, what the hell? Joe is starting to get on my nerves. Ugh, that's it. I'm going to steal his dog. I wonder where he's going. Oh, he dropped something. Schemes and plans. Destroy Joe's house, trap Nixon in a trap, and steal Joe's dog. Oh no. Dude, I have to do something. Oh, but I can't interact with anything or anyone. Ah, uh, it's for the better. Okay, I have to take out Bent. I have to get this dog out before I blow it up because it is crucial to my plan. Not so fast, you mother trucker. You ain't blowing up nothing. Ah, hello there, Joseph. Yes, I will be blowing up something, and that something is your house. You can't blow it up if I unalive you, dog. Oh, Joey, here's the thing. I have my ways. What? No. See you later, Joey. Have fun with your blown up home. Oh, shoot. Run away. No, Snoople. He just started another war. Wait, I have to warn Nixon about the trap. Nixon, Ben is going to trap you at your house. You need to grab everything you care about and leave immediately. Seriously? Okay, I'm grabbing everything that I need. Dog, you need to hurry. He's going to be there in a few minutes. Okay, I think I got everything. All right, get out of there. No. Ha! Do you really think that you can think ahead of me? Wrong. I am one step ahead every time. You're a monster, Ben. Oh, I'm not a monster. I am the monster. Have a nice day, Joey. You're a... This Ben is so ruthless. There's got to be a way to stop him. Actually, I could do something. Okay, I need to get the fudge to town, a sap. Man, why did you have to do this, Joe? You could have just gone without using it, but no. You just had to use it for some stupid reason. All right, I have to focus. The coordinates that Trump gave me are pretty far, so I guess it's time to put my walking into overdrive. Bro, Mike is going to love this plot of land. Donald Tucker wants to join the server. Tell him that he's not allowed to join. Trump, can I join the server? Tucker, why the heck do you want to join the server? Because I want to help you all with the world. Like, we can spruce it up, you know? Dog, you literally don't like me, and why should I trust you? Look, that whole thing with me not liking you was a joke. I never unliked you in the first place. What are you talking about? So I thought that I unliked you and you unliked me, then maybe we could be friends. Um, Tucker, I'm not going to lie, but that makes absolutely no sense. How the heck would we be friends if we unliked each other? Kamala said that if I unliked you, I would be able to be friends with you very easily. The first mistake was you listened to Kamala. Bro, this is literally common sense. How the heck did you not think about it? I don't know. I just wanted to be friends with you. Ugh, all right, I'll bite. You'll bite what? No, that's not what I meant. Uh, whatever. So will you be friends with me again? 
Yeah, sure. Okay, can I join the server now? Sure. Just don't destroy anything or else I will find your base and do the same thing. I promise that I won't destroy a single thing. Okay, good. All right, I think Melania needs me. I gotta go. I gotta go too, see ya. Wow, I can't believe they did all of this. It's amazing. Whoa, who the hell are you? Oh, it's you. Mikey, I'm sorry for unliking you. I just wanted to- Save it. Where is Trump? He logged off to help Melania with something. Dang it. Did he say when he was coming back? Nope. Okay. Well, I have a job for you. Do everything in your power to get that man back on the server. If I do it, will you be my friend? Yes, just hurry up and get him on. Okay, sorry. Come on, I really need you to pick up. Bro, I'm trying to help Melania right now. What do you need? Pence needs you. It's an emergency. Get the hell out of the way, Melania. Okay, I'm running to my PC. Please, hurry. Okay, he's running back to his PC right now. Very good, thank you, Tucker. It's my pleasure, friend. Pence, what's the matter? It's Joe. He time-traveled and messed up the timeline. What? You gotta be kidding me. He went back a day and now it's all a mess. Okay, is there anything we can do to fix it? Yes, but first we have to find Joe. All right, let's search his house then. You'll have to take me to it because I have no idea where it is. It's just this way. Here it is. Okay, go inside to see if he's there. Joe, are you in here? He ain't here. Oh no. What? What are you all knowing? He got sucked into a different timeline. Dude, they literally have pew pews in this timeline. Good thing because I can do this. Dang, I'm very proud of this. Ow, what the heck? Got one shot in. I surrender, please don't unalive me. This is what you get for blowing up my house. Secret exit. Whoa, where the hell did he go? Hmm, let's take a closer look. It looks like an entrance to something. Yo, this is a dope underground base. Ah, ouch, that hurt. Well, well, well. It looks like we have ourselves a wild Joseph. So naive and frail. How could someone like you be on this server? I mean, you could have just worked on your presidential stuff, but no. You just wanted to join this server and wreak havoc. That's ironic coming from you. Joe, I don't know if you remember. I used to have a friend, and that friend's name was Obama. You took my best friend away from me, all because your pride and ego got in the way. I don't know what you were thinking when you tried to pew-pew me from the hillside. It was a dumb move. And now, you will pay for what you have caused. Ben, I didn't do anything to Obama. Obama and I are closer than water in a pool. Man, Tucker must have taken your medications again. Anyways, goodbye, Joey. Ben, you can't do this to me. Uh, what do I do? Wait, what did we do to get out of Bill's trap? Hmm, that wouldn't work since there's literally a roof over my head. Wait, I can mine it with my fist. So Joey started to mine the obsidian, and while he was doing that, Ben was getting ready to unalive him. Man, which one should I use? Hmm, I like this one more, but this isn't my style. Wow, this is big. Too big. Ah, this is the perfect one. Oh, Joey, it's time to... Wait, what? I knew I should have built this out of bedrock. I have to get the hell out of this timeline before Ben unalives me. I will find you, Joey. One day. Okay, I set up this timeline switch. And all we need to do is flip the lever, and you need to jump right as I do it. Got it? Okay, I got it. Wait, Pence, if I don't come back, then tell Michael that I love her. Who? All right, I'm ready. Remember, Trump. You will be teleported back here in 10 hours. And if you don't bring back Joe, then the timeline will disappear. Wow, thanks for putting the pressure on me. Okay, jump in three, two, one, jump. Goodbye, Mike. Good luck, Trump. Whoa, this place looks way different. Hey, is that my glorious wall? Wait, I'm being distracted. I need to find Joey before the time runs out. Okay, I think I have enough time to think of something. Um, I should get some ice cream. Wait, I drank it all, Sag. Wait, I just had an idea. Why don't I think of a plan? That's a great idea. Okay, so I have to travel back in time, right? Well, what if I just travel to the place that I got the time machine from in the first place? Actually, we're in a different timeline, so it might be different. Eh, who cares? I'm going to it anyway. Where the heck could this Obama stand be? Think, if I were Joe, where would I be? Eh, probably the ice cream store. Wait, maybe there actually is an ice cream store here. I mean, think about it. I'm in a different timeline, so that would mean that things have to be different. Okay, I must find this ice cream shop and fast. Holy shoot, is that freaking Tucker? Where is my cute Benny Wenny? I know you're around here somewhere. I've got a feeling that he's probably weird in this timeline. Okay, I think he's gone. Wait, there ain't no way. Ain't no way what? Ah, uh, holy sh**. Get the hell away from me. Oh, hi, Trump. I was just looking for my Benny Wenny. Stay away. Sounds like someone is a little bit angry. Shut up, bro. There's literally an ice cream shop over here. I'm praying to God that he is here. Hmm, it looks like it's empty. He must have been here already. Man, I'm so glad that they have an ice cream store in this timeline. Hmm, that cream hits the spot. Hold up. This place doesn't look the same as it was before. Wait, there's Pence. Pence. What the hell? What do you want? 
I was wondering if you had a time machine that I could borrow. Bro, I ain't giving nothing after that whole thing you pulled on Obama. Mike, I did nothing to Obama. Obama and I are friends. Bro, did you eat too much ice cream today? Obama isn't here anymore. You unalived him. Joe. Joe, wake the hell up. Pence, I would never do anything to Obama. He is my buddy. Well, you should have told yourself that when you unalived him. Goodbye, Joseph. I can't believe Joe from this timeline would do such a thing to Obama. I mean, Obama is my best friend. I can't see how I got so mad to the point where I wanted to unalive him. Huh, I need to take a walk. Bro, I swear, this sleepy dude is literally so complicated. He comes to this timeline just to stop by an ice cream shop. It don't make sense. I guess everything that Joe does never makes sense. Just like that time when he fell off his bike. That man confuses me sometimes. Anyway, I think I'm hot on his tail because there are ice cream bottles on the ground. Or it could just be Tucker. Ha ha, ain't no chance in the world, dog. Hi, my dearest friend. What the hell? Did you follow me out here? No, I've been out here eating some delicious and scrumptious ice cream. Okay, please don't follow me, all right? Okay, ah. Uh. Whoa, what the heck, Tucker? Stop pulling my leg, dog. Actually, I don't even care. I'm out of here. Darn, my whittle plan didn't work. How much time do I have left? Two hours? Gosh dang, time must work differently in this place. Oh, hold up. That's a house. Why does this look familiar? Hey, it's probably Mike's house or something. Hello, is anyone home? Hmm, I don't think anyone is home. Hello? Oh, hey, Trump. Hey, Pence. Hey, I was wondering if you've seen that sleepy guy anywhere. Oh, yeah, that moron was at my door like 20 minutes ago. Do you know which way he went? No idea. Why are you looking for him anyways? Isn't he your enemy? Um, yeah. I just wanted to give him an explosive gift, if you know what I mean. Ah, uh, I gotcha. All right, we'll have fun doing that. Yeah, will do. Take care. Wow, Joe and I are apparently still enemies in this timeline. That's very funny. Why would Joe do this to Obama? Like, how is that even possible? We have the strongest presidential connection ever in history. It's, uh, what was I saying again? Oh, right, I have to get back to my timeline. And the only way back is by using Mike's time machine, which is not possible to get because he apparently thinks that I was the one who unalived Obama. But I'm not. I'm just a normal sleepy Joe. Okay, it's plan time. For the next seven hours, Trump continuously searches for him, and Joe creates a plan to get the time machine. The first part of the plan is simple. Walk up to Mike's house and knock on the door. Then I'll run to the back door, sneak into the house, find the time machine, and get out of there as fast as I can. All right, let's do this. Bro, there's only one hour remaining, and I still haven't found this guy. Joe, where the hell are you? If you don't show yourself, then everything will disappear. Hopefully he heard that, because that's all I can really do at this point. There's the house, and it only took me 30 minutes to get here. Okay, we're going to walk up to the house. Knock on the door. Okay, let's go. Come on, open the door. Bingo. He's out, and now I'm in. Bro, this thing could be anywhere. Dog, where the hell are they? No, that's not it. Nope. Dude, he's got so much junk in here. Aha, I found it. Now I have to get out of here without being seen. Very sneaky. Okay, still clear. And I'm out. Yes, now I have to get to a safe area. Ah, uh, those ding-dong ditchers get annoying sometimes. Hey, what the heck? I didn't leave my back door open. Eh, it was probably the wind. All right, I have to get this thing set up fast. Place that and it's done. Joe, don't do it. Trump, what do you want? Joe, I'm from the other timeline. I'm here to bring you back. How can I trust you? We are best friends, Joey. You made me and Pence friends again. Heck, you even signed a peace treaty with me. Oh my gosh, it is you. Yes, now please don't flip that lever. All right, I'll destroy this machine. Joe, make sure you leave that on the ground. Why? Can't we just take it back with us? Joey, that will ruin the timeline. All right, fine. Wait, if you don't have a time machine, then how did you get here? Mike just created a different type of time machine that allows me to be here for 10 hours. And when it hits 10 hours, then it teleports me back. Just you? Hold up, what about me? Here, hold this. What's this? This is an item that will bring you back with me. Oh, nice. So, uh, how's your day? It's fairly good. I traveled back in time and ate a ton of ice cream. How about you? Mine has been terrible. I ran into weird Tucker while trying to find your sleepy head. Okay, it looks like we got five minutes left. So Trump and Joe sat there for five minutes and this happened. Okay, it's time for me to shine. Hey, wake up, narrator. Uh, what? Get the hell up and narrate the rest of this. I have to insert myself. Okay, so Trump and Joe waited five minutes and this happened. Please tell me they made it. Yes, you did it. Of course I did it. I'm just that goaded. Mike, I'm sorry for using your time machine. Joe, I forgive you, but don't use the time machine ever again. I don't care how important the situation is. Just don't use it. All right. So is the timeline completely fixed? As long as you guys didn't bring anyone along, then yeah, it should be fixed. Wait, so do we just go back to our normal lives? 
Yes. All righty then. I'll see you guys later. See you, Joseph. Trump, I'm going to run some tests to make sure everything is back to normal. Could I come with you? Sure. I have all of the stuff set up in my house. Oh, you built your house? Yeah, I figured that I should do something while doing nothing. Ah, nice. All right, let's run some tests. So Pence ran some tests, and he wasn't able to get the results yet. It looks like this test will take about one week. One week? That's so long, though. Hey, I wouldn't worry about it. It'll probably come through as fixed. Man, this is such a neat world to take over. Any updates on the timeline? Nope, the machine is still processing the information. Well, do you think it will be done anytime soon? Donald, you have asked me the same question so many times today. I just wanted to make sure that nothing has changed. I will let you know when it is done, all right? Uh, all right. Okay, now do something productive. What is something I can do that is productive? I don't know. You can add another person to the server or something. Just do something that isn't going to bother me. Do something that isn't going to bother you. Hmm, uh, I got it. Building a wall that isn't bothering anyone. Donald Trump, what are you doing? I am building an almighty and powerful wall that will put other walls to shame. Trump, why did you decide to put it in between me and Ben's house? That's literally so dumb. Joey, it's all for the aesthetic look. Well, I don't like it. Take this wall down before I do. Hey, Pence permitted me to build this wall here. Mike has no say in where this wall goes. Go talk to him then. He would love to have a little convo with the President of the United States. Oh yes, we're going to have a heck of a convo. Pencil, why the hell did you tell Trumpy to build a wall? What? I didn't tell him to build a wall. All I told him was to do something productive. Nothing more, nothing less. That's it. I'm going to lay the law down. Hey, what you're doing is not productive, so get down and demolish this wall or else. Joey, this wall is the staple of America. We can't live without this magnificent piece of historical art. That does it. I'm blowing it up. Hey, isn't that a little bit overkill? Trumpy, blowing up a wall that you created isn't overkill. Bro thinks he can build a wall on our land, huh? Well, I'll show him. Hmm, these guys don't seem any different in this timeline. Maybe it's because they went back in time and changed everything. Hmm, interesting. Joe, don't blow up my glorious wall. Okay, then you have to mine every single individual piece of it. All right, fine. But only because I don't want you to be a moron. Very fascinating. Very good. Don't ever build here again. Got it? I will abide by your stupid rules, all right? Good. Now do something productive, okay? Fine. I will do something quote-unquote productive. Man, he is a total party pooper. What do I do now? Hmm. Oh, I got it. Hey, welcome to the server, Bushy. It's nice to see you. Thanks for inviting me to the server, Trump. I can finally play with my dearest, most friendly friends. I don't know about friendly, but we'll go with it. Anyways, you can build your house wherever you want to. Alrighty, thank you, big orange man. Back the truck up. Bush, that name has been retired for weeks now, so stop using it. Wait, people don't refer to you as an orange anymore? Nope, they refer to me as other things, and no, I will not be saying those other things. Come on, you can trust me, brosif. Hell no, I'm out of here, brother. Well, I guess I'll find out eventually. Anyways, I need to grab some wood. Where would I find that? Ah, bingo. Dog, there's so much wood here. Wait, what is that? It looks like an item frame holding a red piece of wool. Huh, I wonder what that is supposed to represent. Ah... Hey, what is this? Man, trapping you was way easier than I thought. Wait, you look exactly like me. Wait, are you a clone or something? Look, all you need to know is that you won't have a great time down there. Wait, what do you mean by that? Hey, let me out. Now that I have this timeline's bush, I can initiate plan A. Huh, that's odd. Some changes are happening with this graph and that's not supposed to happen. Eh, it's probably just the Wi-Fi. Mike, how's it going? Trump, what did I tell you about bothering me? Dog, I'm not here to bother you. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Oh, well, I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. All right, I'm going to see how Joe is doing. Jokester, where are you? Hey, Trunk. Joseph, what the hell are you doing up there? Well, I wanted to get a better view of your house. Why would you want to do that? Because something might happen near your humble abode. Joey, nothing is going to happen to my house. Hi, Donald. Jeez, Bush, why the hell did you startle me? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to... Okay, did you get some tools and stuff? Yeah, I got some iron tools. Very nice. Hey, could you run to my house and pick up some diamond? It would be much appreciated. Oh yeah, sure. I can do that for my best friend in the whole wide world. Just go already. All right. Bro doesn't know what I'm about to do to his house. Where the hell is bro? He's been gone for a bit now. Sorry for the long wait. I got trapped in a hole. That's fine. As long as you didn't steal my diamonds or plant any boom booms in my house, we'll be good. Yeah. Anyways, I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Man, that guy is always happy for some reason. Eh, he probably took some of Joe's pills. Oh, what's this? I left a little gift for you. Open it. Signed by Obama. Wait, Obama came back? Wow, and he didn't even bother to say hi. That's messed up, man. Whoa, what the heck? Run!
Oh boy, this is a major threat. La la la. Joey, my house was boom boomed by Obama. Yeah, I know. It was fun to watch you blow up your own house. Joseph, I didn't do the boom boom to my own house. Obama did. Wait, Obama planted those boom booms? Apparently, yeah. And now I'm thinking about taking action for the situation at hand. Do we need to build a defense to hold off Obama's army if he comes to invade our territory? I don't know. All I know is that Obama is now a threat to our town. Why would Obama turn on us? We became friends again. Maybe this was his plan all along, to end the first war and start another one that would be way more significant. It doesn't make any sense. Joe, let's not think about it that much. Right now, we need to let everyone know of the situation. And that's what they did. Joe and Trump went to everyone's houses and told them about the explosion. Yes, my plan is working itself out right now. Who would have thought that Tangerine was so oblivious? Mike! Ugh, what is it now? We have a new threat on our hands. What? What are you talking about? Wait, is this another one of those stupid schemes to make me tell you what the status is on this time travel thing? No, this is a real thing. Obama left a boom boom underneath my house. Are you being for real right now? I'm being so for real right now, dog. We'll need to build a great defense for this town. I have to stay with this testing machine so I can't help you all out. Okay, keep working on that. I'll get Ben to help me. Ben, come help me build a wall for this town. Okay, yeah, that's great. Yep, and it will be the most glorious wall you have ever seen in your entire life. Now let's get to constructing it. And done. This wall looks beautiful. Matt, it could look better. Benny, don't talk bad about my exquisite wall. Man, I never thought I would be going back to where it all started. I mean, it just feels so weird. Eh, well, hopefully they'll accept me into their town with open arms and not with firearms. Hey, do we have any bows in the arsenal? Hell, if I know. Why don't you look? Yeah, I'll do that. Wait a second. We don't have an arsenal. Yeah, I know. Okay, then I'll look in my house. BRB. Ben, why the hell is there a wall here? Because Obama might be starting another war. Oh, I remember now. Trump came into my house and told me that... Not to roast you or anything, but you actually remembered something. I guess I remembered something for once. Wow, maybe you're finally starting to recover. Hi, I'm Joe Biden's husband. Never mind. Let's see. Swords, blocks, boom booms, aha, bows and arrows. Bro, my house should literally be called the arsenal. I got so much weaponry in here that it's not even funny. Hey, I found some bows and arrows in my house, so we should be good. Very good. Okay, do you think we should have someone keeping an eye out for him? There's already someone watching for him. What do you mean? Joey made some tall tower that he likes to use to spy on people, and I think he also lives up there now. Ah, what an ingenious and fun thing Joseph has done. Spying on your neighbors is fun? Wow, you are creepy. Dude, why is it doing this? The machine is supposed to be giving green signs, but it's not. It's giving yellow signs, which could potentially mean something is wrong, but the chances of something being wrong are fairly low. I'll have to do some more digging. No, I want your finest ice cream. Yes, I really want to buy the ice cream. Wait, what? Oh, I was dreaming. Phew. I thought I was actually being jumped by Obama. Okay, I have to put all of my concentration into looking for Obama. Hey, is that him? No, that's just a rock. Hey, Joey, how's it going? It's going fine. I haven't seen anyone yet, though. Okay, let us know if you see anyone, all right? Aye, aye, Captain. I shall let you know if anyone dares come near our land. Joe, don't try to copy Captain Jack Sparrow. You do a horrible job at it. Aye, I thought it was pretty good, lad. Whatever floats your boat, dollar store, Captain Jack Sparrow. Hey, I'm not a dollar store, Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm one dollar and fifty cents store, Captain Jack Sparrow. Man, people can't seem to get the name right. Trumpy, any update from Joey? No update, but there is an update on our friendship. Oh, really? Yeah, the update is me destroying it and blowing up your house, all because you called me Trumpy. Wait, Donald, I was joking around. I didn't mean to make you mad or anything. I'm sorry. Hmm, all right, fine. I'll accept your apology, but only because we're friends. Hold up, what the hell is that noise? I don't know. Let's go up and see. Joey, what is all that noise? It's Elon. What the hell? I haven't seen him since the creative mode war. Wait, Elon was in that war. Yeah, and he was my enemy. Dog, this music is busting for real, for real. Elon, what the heck are you doing here? I was just going to get my new Yesla model XYZ. Wait, you still live in this war field? Yes, I still live in this war field. It's my home. Wow, and to think, you said that you weren't coming back to this place. Look, things have changed since then. Anyways, could you please go around our town? Yeah, whatever. See ya, Trumpet. Don't call me by that name ever again. Trumpet. Gosh, Elon is still an annoying little prick. Hey, did you make him leave this area? Yes, and he won't ever come back here again. Wait, let's back the truck up. You said that he was your enemy in the war. Was Obama by chance the enemy in that war too? Holy shoot, I never even thought about that. Um, yes, yes he was. Trump, I think the third war is starting sooner than we thought. Get ready for the fight. I ain't losing to these little morons. 
These fools. Little do they know that this is all a setup. Thanks again, Elon. It's my pleasure, Mr. President. Please call me Bush. Uh, all right, Bush. Mike, we're about to have another war. What, did Obama arrive early? No, but Elon so happened to stroll near our base. Wait, he was the enemy in the creative mode war. This isn't good. We need to get ready to fight for our land. Joe, you'll be keeping an eye out in your watchtower. Ben, you have to secure the south wall. And Mike, you'll have to secure all the other sides because the other teammates aren't on right now. You've got to be kidding me. Why can't we get them on right now? Because they went to the Bahamas. Well, maybe they brought their computers. Nope. They said that they wanted to get away from all of the technology. Dang. And of course, they leave the day we go into war. Mike, it is what it is. Now let's get out there and show Obama who's boss. Yeah, let's do this. Man, I think I'm getting close to the town. I wonder if they'll mind if I rebuild my house there. Hold up, I think I can see the town. I'm in position. All right, and how about you, Pence? Yep, my area is secured. Okay, so now we wait. Guys, guys, I see Obama. Wait, where is he? It looks like he's in a boat, but he's by himself. Is he holding anything in his hand? Yeah, he's holding a piece of boom boom. Okay, I give you guys full permission to pew pew on sight. I just lost sight of him. What do you mean you lost sight of him? I can't see him anymore. He just disappeared. What the hell? Hi, Trump. Ah, Obama. Why the hell are you trying to start another war? What are you talking about? There was a chest left by you in front of my house, and it was a full-on boom-boom. What? Trump, this is my first time here since I unalived. Obama, I don't trust you for a second. All right, fine. Don't believe me. But I just want to make something clear. You started this, not me. Dog, don't even lie about it. We all know that you planted that boom boom. Trump, I really wanted to be friends with you guys, but now you just destroyed any future friendships we could have had. If you became friends with us, then you would probably boom boom more of our houses. This is war, Trump. I hope to see you very soon. Yeah, and I hope to see you lose this battle. Guys, Obama has betrayed us, and he is no longer our friend. Did he really plant that boom boom in front of your house? Yes, Joe. He did do that. Okay, we need to prepare for this war. We can't have a war now. We still have to wait for the results from the machine. Mike, we have no choice. It's either we lose everything to Obama or we fight for it and win. Are you sure we can't postpone this for a few more days? Do you think we can push off something this big? Dog, Obama will fight hard and he'll do it for as long as he needs to. So no, I don't think we can. Wait, maybe I can talk to him. I mean, he is my buddy and all. Joseph, you guys fought head to head in the war we had. I don't think it's a good idea. That war was a long time ago. He won't remember that. Joe, do not talk to Obama. I don't care if he remembers or not. Just don't talk to Obama. Got it? All right. Now let's go get a good night's sleep. We'll have a lot to do in the morning. Obama was my best friend. He would never do anything like this. Ugh, it doesn't even add up. Wait, maybe someone else planted the boom boom and framed Obama for doing it. That's gotta be it. Trump, open your front door. Uh, what could this sleepy old man want now? I just thought of something. Oh, here we go. What if someone else planted that boom boom? What are you talking about? Well, we got along with Obama, so I don't see any reason for him to do that sort of thing. Joe, he is known for doing that sort of thing to my Minecraft houses. And that was when he was your enemy. So, let me get this straight. Are you trying to say that someone else in town planted this boom boom in my house? Well, they could be out of town, but it could be in town too. Joe, did you plant that boom boom in my home? What? No. I stopped doing that when we became friends. Okay, that's good to know. So, what do you think of my theory? Well, for once, I actually think it's an interesting theory. But do I think that's what happened? Hey, maybe. I'm still leaning toward Obama planting the boom boom. But do you think I could be right on this one? I do. But I'm not too confident about it because no one else on this server would blow up my house except for Obama. He always used to do it. Okay, fair. It's uncertain whether or not he did it. Okay, well, I'll let you sleep on it. And yeah, I'll see you later. I'm going to find Obama. So Joseph set off to find Obama, but there was a problem. Joe doesn't remember which way he went. I think he could have gone this way, but he also could have gone this way. You know what? I'm going to flip a coin. If it lands on tails, I will go this way. But if it lands on heads, then I will go this way. All right, in three, two, one, flip. And it landed on tails. All right, let's go this way. I'm really hoping this is the right way I'm supposed to go, because if it's not, I'll be wasting a lot of precious time. I feel like they were making up things to not let me back into town. Like the only time I boom boom Trump's house was during that whole war we had. But now that war is over, and he still thinks I do that sort of thing. Man, I know for a fact that he made that whole story up. No cap. Hold up, I can sense something. It's almost as if Obama was around here. But where could he be? Oh, there he is. Whoa, what the heck? Obama, I come in peace. I mean no harm, I... What do you want? I want to talk to you. About what? The fact that Trump made up that whole house blowing up thing to keep me out of town? 
What? Trump didn't make up that house thing. His house actually did a boom boom. Okay, well, he blamed me for it. What's up with that? I don't know, but I don't think you did it. Finally, someone that actually believes me. I think someone framed you for this, Barack. Well, obviously. But who did the framing? I don't know. It could be people in or out of town. Either one. I'll tell you something. It ain't me, bro. I just decided that it was time to pack up and finally move back to town. Wait, you finally decided to move back to town? Yes, until this whole thing happened. Uh, I guess that is very true. Let's not get carried away here. Do you think that you could talk some sense into Trump and make him stop believing that I did that? I guess the only logical way I'd be able to do that is if I had some solid proof. Okay, let's get some proof. Wait, you want to go into town and get some proof? Heck yeah. Right now is the best time to do this thing. Hmm, I guess you are correct about that. I know I am. All right, let's roll. So Joe and Obama went back to the town to search for hints or clues that would potentially help them with this situation. Okay, take me to his house. It's just around here. Oh, wow. This did the boom boom, hardcore style. Yeah, it was a gnarly sight to see in the morning. Okay, it looks like this person used around 15 pieces of boom booms and was triggered by a chest. Wait, how the heck do you know the exact numbers? I brought my boom boom detector with me just in case of situations like this one. Does it say anything else? Wait, it's got player handprints. No way. Whose hands are they? It shows up as unknown. Wait, it straight up says unknown? Yep, and now I'm confused. Hold up. Maybe it was an animal. Like a zombie piglin or a villager. Nope, they have traces of human DNA. Oh shoot, I hear someone coming. You have to go, Obama. Okay, I'll see you later, Joey. What the heck is going on out here? Hey, what's up, Trump? Oh, it's just Sleepy Joe. Joey, can you please stop talking to yourself and go to bed? Yeah, sure. Sorry about that. Man, I hope someone can help me out of here. All right, I gotta get ready for this fight we're gonna have today. Wait, where the fiddlesticks is my sword? I left it in this item frame. Ah, uh, yeah. I think today should be a lot better than yesterday, especially since I stole Trump's sword. Hey, Barack, wait, is that Trump's sword? Um, no, it's my all-new Backscratcher 3000. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought you stole from the team that you wanted to team up with. I would never do such a thing. All right, wait, where the hell are my pills? You still take pills? Yes, I need them for my thing. Well, maybe you left them at your house. Left my what where? Oh, no. Joe, wake up. Um, what do I do? Oh, I got it. Free chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. What? Where? Huh, I knew that old trick still worked. Dang, I thought there was actually chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Dog, you forgot your pills again. You'll have to go into town to get them. Wait, but if I go there, then Trump will make me take a position for this made-up war. Okay, then just be sneaky. Aren't you good at that? Who the heck is sneaky? Go into town without making any noise, got it? Oh, that's easy. I'll see you soon, Obama. Good luck, Joey. Where I'm going, I won't need luck. Uh, where am I going again? You're going back to town to get your pills. Ah, uh, that's right. Okay, I'll see you later. So Joseph set off to town, but there was a problem. Joe would forget what he is doing, but luckily, the town is only 250 blocks away. I can do this. Come on, Slippery Joe. Sleepy Joe. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Hey, is that a drone? Oh, it's just the sky. Phew. Ben, stop being a couch potato. It's time to get ready for the war. Ben. Whoa, why the hell are you in my house? Because we have to get ready for the big war against Obamna. Dog, just let me sleep for a few more minutes. Alrighty, then I'm just going to keep this very high-tech block to myself. What high-tech block? What the hell? How do you have a piece of bedrock? Ben, let's just say I have friends in high places. Can I have this block that is in your possession currently? Yeah, only if you're going to get ready for the war. Oh yeah, I was literally just thinking that. Let's go get ready. Come on, I have to pull myself together. Ooh, is that a group of children? I have to focus. It's not that hard. Rise and shine, sleeping beauty. Trumpy, get the hell out of my house before I destroy the timeline. Hey, it might happen anyways if you don't get ready for the fight. Uh, all right. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna wake up the others now. Whoa, I'm in Candyland. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Ah, wake up, wake up, I can see town. Dog, Hillary, and the others are still gone. Man, they are going to regret leaving for the Bahamas. Wait, I forgot about Joey. Oh, Joey, it's time to wake up. Wait, where the hell is Joey? His pills are gone. Yes, I did it. Now I have to get back to Obama's camp. Come on. I know that you might be able to make it back, Joe. Obama, I got the pills. I'm actually kind of surprised. Okay, now that the issue is dealt with, should we start talking about plans? Yes, but we'll have to make it fast. Why? We should have plenty of time to talk about it. Joe, when Trump sits around waiting for me to come, he's going to get to the point where he wants to search the area around him. How in the cheese puff would you know that? 
Well, I had to deal with the same thing in the creative mode war. Dude, you guys always talk about the creative mode war, but never say how it started. Look, that's beside the point. Okay, let's get this plan going. Dog, don't glide over this. I want to know what happened. You'll find out in due time, Joseph. For now, we need to focus. Joe and Obama took three hours to create the most well-thought plan for this. Okay, let's go over this again. You will go into town, scan Trump's blown up house with this device I created last night, then you'll report back to me for the next part of the plan. You got all that? Uh, I think so. All right, good. Now here's the device. All you have to do is go into the crater and press this button. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay, I wish you all the luck, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Dude. Uh, okay. I guess that works. I won't let you down, Obama. I swear on my life. Oh boy. The last time he swore on his life was when my Minecraft house did a boom boom. I can do this. I can't find him. Wait, Obama must have taken him. What's wrong, Trump? It's Joe. I've been searching for him for three hours. Did you look inside your house? Why the hell would Joe be in my house? I don't know. He could have forgotten his pills. Therefore, that would put him in a state of confusion, which would make him go to different places. All right, all right. I'll go check my house. Let's see. Nope. He's not even in here. Why did I even listen to Ben? Uh, how do you turn on this thing? Uh... Hey, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, I'll stay on this channel. Just let me know if you need help. Thank you, Obama, but I think I got this. Joe, just remember, if you get caught, then we'll be screwed, and they'll think that you're working with me. I mean, I kind of am. Joey, you're not supposed to be smart. Oh, one more thing. If it beeps three times, then that means you can come back as soon as possible. Okay, that's good to know. All right, good luck, brother. I'll see you soon. Okay, I think they're probably looking for me, so I'm just going to climb up the side of the mountain. I don't know where he is. I think Obama took him. That monster, we shouldn't have trusted him in the first place. Trump, we can't seem to find him. Obama took him. What are you talking about? Obama took Joe to his secret place. I'm very certain of it. How could you be so certain? Ben, you have to trust me on this one. Okay, well, do you have any ideas? Yeah, and that plan consists of us not going anywhere. Dog, our friend is out there and you just want to sit around and do nothing. Obama is very secretive. It would be nearly impossible to find him. It just sounds like excuses to me. Ben, shut your mouth and listen to me. We can't do anything about it, period. I thought you were his friend, but we were apparently wrong. Ben, I didn't mean, uh. Okay, I'm finally here and all I have to do is press this button, easy. Joe, come in, did you make it to the area? Yes, I made it to the area. And did you press the button? Yes, sir. Okay, oh, I forgot to warn you. The process takes up to three minutes. Three minutes? Why does it take so long? Dude, three minutes ain't long. 10 minutes is long. I'd suggest finding a hiding spot just in case someone comes around. Dang you, Obama. Okay, I think I should be hidden in this area. Hopefully. Man, I was just trying to explain to him that we need to do what's best. What the heck? Hey, who's there? Oh, shoot. Huh, I thought I heard something. Oh, phew. That was too close. Joey, is everything still going according to plan? Yes, but I was almost caught by Trump. Okay, you just need to stay out of his eyesight. That's what I'm trying to do right now. How much time do you have left on that? It says one minute and 30 seconds. Okay, I swear I heard something that time. Obama, he heard me talking. Stay the hell out of his sights. You can't screw this up. Okay. Who the hell is back there? Hmm, that's interesting. It's like the person that was back here moved somewhere else. Oh, shoot. I got one minute left. Come on, where the heck are you hiding? Go faster, you stinking device. You can't keep hiding, dog. Come out, come out wherever you are. 30 seconds. Okay, that's it. I'm pulling out the old x-ray device. Oh no, Obama, he's about to use his x-ray device. Joe, you need to get out of there now. I can't. I'm so close to getting this done. Now you listen to me. Get out of there. Now. No. 20 seconds left. There we go. Let's get this machine going. 15 seconds. Setting up. There we go. 10 seconds left. It's so close. And we'll start up this baby. All right, let's see who is hiding around my house. Wait, it's just a pig. Oh, um, I really thought I heard talking. Obama, I got the information and I'm heading back. Wait, so you weren't caught? Dog, I'm sneakier than Trump getting a cookie out of the cookie jar. Wow, I'm actually surprised. Good work, Joey. Thanks. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, I'll see you then. I guess with Joe missing, it's just been taking a toll on me because I really thought there was someone outside. Trump, open the door. Ben, look, I changed my mind. Save it. We have a bigger fish to fry. Wait, what is going on? Mike, what the hell is going on? The machine, it's starting to break on me. What do we do? We need to fix it by finding a specific block. Okay, and what is this specific block? Bedrock. Hey, I have a piece of bedrock, but I was going to give it to Ben. Trump, saving the universe as we know it is more important than a little promise. Okay, you're right. Here. Thank you. Okay, it should be good. For now. What do you mean by for now? Well, I found out that the timelines are still messed up, and if we don't fix them, then we're going to be in trouble. What the hell? 
We did everything we were supposed to do. Trump, you guys clearly did something that you guys weren't supposed to do. Okay, maybe we interacted with some people, but we didn't tell them we were from a different timeline. Logically thinking, everything should be fine if you didn't tell them that. However, if someone brought something back from a different timeline, then that would affect everything. But we didn't bring anything back. Well, Trumpy, it's starting to seem like that was the case. Dude, what sort of thing would have we taken? I don't know, an item, a piece of dirt, a seed. Heck, you could even bring a person. Mike, there is no way in hell that we took back any of those things. Let me ask you a question. Was there an ice cream store in that timeline? Holy shnikes, there was. We have to find Joe, a sap. But we don't know where the hell he went. Trump, do not fret. I have a device that will tell us where Joey is. Wait, how the heck did you make that? Well, I took a subatomic particle and- Never mind that. We have to find Joey. Now fire up your machine so we can get this search going. After a few minutes of setup, Mike was able to fire up the machine. All right, the machine is up and running. Okay, so does it show us where he is currently? Not yet. It has to scan the atmosphere real quick. And it's done. Hmm, it looks like he's on the edge of a mesa biome in a river. Wait, this doesn't show any direction or anything? Dude, my stuff isn't that high tech. However, we should be able to pinpoint his location. Oh, well, I guess that's way better. Whoa, what the hell happened? Well, the system overloaded while trying to pinpoint his location. Okay, then we'll just see if we can recognize a place in this photo. Yeah, good luck with that. I haven't been here in years, so I don't really remember. Dog, you could at least help me search for them. Yeah, I'll help you search for them, but I won't be able to recognize a lot of areas. All right, then leave the recognition to me. Now that you have the info, what are we supposed to do now? Well, we're going to let this machine scan the information, and in the meantime, we can potentially spy on them to see what they're doing. There's no point in spying on them. All they're doing is sitting in their houses. You never know, man. They could be searching for you right now. I highly doubt it. Mike, you'll go that way and I'll go this way. Okay. Do you have the photo on you? Yeah, it's in my big cranium. I guess that's one way to take a photo with you. All right, I'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay, I'll see you later, Trump. Good luck. You too. You'll totally need it. Okay, so the only area I can remember having a mesa near it was the old village where Hillary and I had our war at. All right, so it sounds like I'll be heading there then. Nice. Joe, do you see anything? Uh, I don't see anyone over here. What about you? I see absolutely no one. That's so flipping weird. Maybe they're out looking for me. That could be it. Okay, so we should have time to waltz our way into town, right? Why the heck do we need to go into town? I don't know. They might have some information on you. Fair point. All right, where do you think they have this information? Well, Mike has a laboratory over there, so that might be where it is. Okay, let's go to it then. All right, I'm walking toward it right now. I'm doing the same thing. Where the hell did Trump and Mike go? They were literally here a few minutes ago. Go back, go back. Ben is still here. Oh, shoot, I'm running back. Obama, don't be seen. I know. That's why I'm pulling a sneaky move. What does that mean? Obama, hello? Obama, come in. What the hell are you doing? Man, it's good that I brought my shovel because I would have been burnt toast. Obama, please tell me you weren't caught. Oh, no, I think he was caught. Hi, Joey. What the heck? You dug under the ground? Yeah, it was the most sneaky way of getting back over here. Okay, we need a different way to get over there. Well, we could just dig another tunnel. Ooh, that's a great idea. You'll have to dig it, though. Of course. All right, let's do it. So Obama and Joe dug a tunnel to Mike's laboratory, and when they made it there, they got ready to dig into it. Theoretically, there should be no one up here. Okay, it looks clear. I'll block this up over here. Very good. All right, what do we have here? What the heck? What? What's wrong? That's where my tent is set up at. Oh, no. We need to go now. Unblock the door and fix this floor. We need to get a move on. The door is unblocked and I'm out of here. Obama, do you think they're at the base right now? I have no clue, Joe. Let's just hope they aren't because that machine is still running. I'm in the Mesa, but I don't see any river. Hmm, maybe it's more this way because I heard that rivers normally spawn this way. Trump, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Did you find anything? But I did find a dark oak boat in a river. Hold up. The only person that uses dark oak boats on the server is Obama. Dog, you're hot on his trail. Okay, then I'll just keep going this way. Wait, I found the area. Nice, I'll probably be there in a few minutes. All righty, roger that. Dude, he's got a tent set up and everything. Whoa, what the peanut is that? Hmm, I genuinely have no idea. No, we were too late. Wait, when does the machine finish its scanning? Oh, well, I guess that answers my question. What the heck? Hmm, this is interesting. Wait a second, why is he getting Bush's DNA? There's no flipping way. It was Bush, but why? I don't know. We never had any disagreements or anything like that in the past, so it doesn't make sense. Unless that's not actually Bush. Dog, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is- Oh, Obama, come out from wherever you are. I know you're hiding somewhere. Oh, shoot, we gotta go. Okay, let's get out of here. Hold up. I know for a fact that this isn't Bush's DNA because his DNA is more square. Wait, it all makes sense. 
The booming of my house, the change in the faces, the iron tools. This isn't our Bush. This is a different timeline, Bush. I have to tell Mike, Mike, Obama didn't do a boom boom on my house. What are you talking about, Donald? I found a sample of Bush's DNA, but here's the thing. This isn't our Bush. Oh my gosh, I get it now. Bush from a different timeline did all of these things. That explains why the timeline is going crazy. Wait, how long do we have to fix the timeline? Well, we have less than 12 hours to fix it. What the hell? Why didn't you tell me this before? I forgot about it, all right? We need to go now. Right, let's go. So Mike and Trump headed back to the laboratory to track down the fake Bush. Okay, let's go over what you said again. You said we have to find this other timeline's Bush and return him in less than 12 hours. Yes, and we have to make sure to bring all of the ice cream bottles too. But right now we have to focus on Bush because he is our main priority. Okay, so are you able to track down this Bush? Well, with this DNA, I should be able to insert it and get a location. Bingo, we've got a location. And this time it has coordinates. Nice, but how am I supposed to get him? You use this. Whoa, is this a poke ball? Kind of, but it's a lot more complex. And it's also made for humans. Trump, I trust that you will catch him and bring him back. Mike, you know you can trust me. We've been friends for a long time. I'm glad you said something about being friends because I wanted to give you this. It's the medal you gave me when we first became friends. Wow, I haven't seen this in a long time. I know, Trump. I know. Mark my words. I will catch this fake bush. Good luck, Trump. Thank you, Mikey. All right, it's time to get this fake dude. So he traveled through the forest and he eventually found his house. I think this is the place. These plans that I have are way too diabolical. Now they just need to be put into action. Hey, mother trucker. What the heck? Ah. Uh. Ha, I got him. Mike, are you there? I'm here. I caught the fake bush. Did you make sure to lock it? That's the first thing I did. Okay, now bring it back to the lab. All right, I'm heading back now. The walk shouldn't be too long because he literally just set up his house right next to town. Yeah, his house is just 100 blocks away from Hillary's. Wow, he was so smart. Hi, I'm back. Nice. All right. Bring him here. Here. It's a little bit shaky for some reason. Okay. Hmm. All right. This looks fairly good. All right. Let me go set up the time machine and we'll take him back. How long will it take to boot up? Uh, it only takes a few seconds. Man, I haven't fired this thing up in a few days. Mike, we're on a deadline. Hurry up and start it. All right. All right. And it's booted up. Wait, how are we both supposed to travel if there's no one flipping the lever? Well, I programmed my phone to have an automatic lever on it, so we don't need anyone flipping the actual lever. Ah, uh, all righty then. Are you ready, Trump? I'm ready as I'll ever be. We're going in three, two, one. It appears we have traveled to the wrong timeline. Then take us to a different one. Whoa, what is going on? Ah! Oh, Mike, Mike, where the fiddlesticks are you? Whoa, what is this place? Hold up, this looks like a neighborhood. Trump, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Mike. Where the heck are you at? But I don't know. Hey, weren't we together a few minutes ago? Yes, but I think we passed out or something. So if we passed out, then how am I in a completely different place? Dog, I think someone moved you. Wait, weird thought. Maybe this is a timeline where everyone has to act nice, but in reality, they're unaliving machines. Trump, I highly doubt this timeline would have that sort of thing. Oh, you're finally awake. Hillary. Who else would it be? Yes, it is me, the one and only Hillary. Where am I? Well, you're currently at your house. Mike, you hit your head pretty hard. Did you forget your own house? I hit my head. Yep, I saw you and Trump walking on the sidewalk, and while doing that, you fell and hit your head. Wait, but I don't remember walking on a sidewalk. Mike, do you need me to take you to the hospital? No, I think I'll just be going somewhere. I don't think it's a good idea to do that. So just come back over here and sit down. Don't worry, Hillary, I will be back in a few minutes. Trump, what the hell is going on? We literally just came through the portal and then found Joe. Dog, I think your machine put us to sleep or something because I vividly remember falling on the ground right as we came through. All right, now explain how we were walking on the sidewalk. We were not walking on the sidewalk. Well, this timeline's Hillary said we were walking together on the sidewalk. Dude, I am so stinking confused. Look, let's not focus on this. We need to find each other. Okay, well, I am currently in someone's house or something. Find a way out of there. We need to get out of this timeline as fast as we can. Uh, Mike. What's wrong? I'm trapped in someone's attic. Get the heck out of there. I think someone took you there. I literally just said that I was trapped. So there is literally no way out. Hmm, okay. Are you able to see which house you are in? Uh, no, but I'm able to see a house across from me that is red. Oh, I think I saw that house. I'll come back and you'll let me know if you can see me, all right? Okay, I'll be looking out for you. Hey, I'm closing in on the red house. Okay. All right, I'm here. Can you see me at all? Yes, I can see you. Nice, I'm coming over to your house right now. Hold up, I can see someone coming. Wait, what? Mike, what are you doing? Uh, Hillary, I'm just taking a walk. I don't need any help. Oh, really? You don't need help? Mike, you never not want my help? Mike, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, uh, gonna, gonna uh, 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 uh,
Oh, uh, uh, hell no, I'm out of here. Trump, you need to get the hell ready. What is going on? Your stupid theory from earlier was entirely true. Hillary is turning into some unaliving machine. Ah, uh, uh, Mike, Mike, you, you will, will pay. pay. Oh, shoot, I can hear her yelling. Trump, I am in the house. Did you say you were in the attic? Yes, please hurry. You, you can't, can't hide, hide in, in there, there for long. long. You're so lucky that I brought a lever for this trip. Mike, okay, how the fiddlesticks do we get out of here? On three, we will jump. Three, two, one, jump. Ah, uh, they're, they're gone. gone. Ah, ouch. Whoa, what the heck is this? I don't know, but we need to find out if this is the right timeline. Okay, so do you want to split up? Well, I feel like that is our best bet at this point. So yeah, that's what we should do. All righty then. Make sure to have your walkie-talkie on at all times, just in case of any situations. Hold up, let me turn mine on real quick. Ow, that hurt my flipping ears. Okay, let's go find out if this is the right timeline. All righty. So while Trump and Mike were looking around, Obama and Joe debated going back to Obama's campsite. Obama, it's a few hours. They have to be gone by now. There's no shot in the world that they are still there. Joseph, we cannot risk ruining everything. Trump probably thinks that I want to start another war. Or maybe he realized that you weren't the one that boom-boomed his house. That is entirely possible, but the chances of that actually being the case is slim because he's so hooked onto the fact that I quote-unquote boom-boomed his house. Obama, let's just take a peek at the camp. There's no harm in doing that. If you want to go to it, then you can. I'm just going to stay here. Dude, you can't just stay here and be a coward. You have to come. Joe, this is the last time I say it. Go if you want to go. Ugh, fine. I don't even get why you're acting like this. Ah, I can't take it anymore. Joey, I was going to declare war. Yes, I know. Joe, I'm not talking about the whole Trump house being blown up by me. I'm talking about me genuinely starting another war. What, what are you talking about? Ugh. When I came back from the unalived, I wanted to wage another war against you guys. So I built a house and started to craft lots of TNT, weapons, and even nuclear weapons. But you guys were being nice to me, as if nothing ever happened before. That right there held me back from doing anything drastic, but I still had intentions to start another war. So I kept loading up my arsenal, and it eventually got full. I then decided that it was time to come back to see what you guys had in your town, and from my observations, it didn't seem like you guys had much... And that got me rethinking this whole thing because you guys wanted to be friends with me, so I shut down my plans and headed into your town. And that's when I ran into Trump. He thought I blew up his house, and then he wanted to start another war. And now, I think another war is in order. I cannot believe you. After everything we did for you, you just wanted to wage another war against us. Joe, it was not my intention to start a war when I thought about you guys, but now, Trump is really asking for it. Obama. Yes, Joe? Get out. Do what? Get out of our territory. Joseph, I didn't want it to end like this, and I didn't want it to start like this. I hope you're happy with what you have started. He has no idea what he just started. Hmm, this doesn't look very familiar to me. Hey, there's a dirt house. I wonder if anyone is home. A, probably not. The designs for this aren't too bad. However, it is made out of dirt and mud. I've got a strong feeling that the Joe from this timeline built this. Huh, this area seems empty. Like, I don't know, it seems like nothing would be here. Mike, come in. I think this is the wrong timeline. Agreed. Let's just meet back at the original place we teleported to. I'm already here, so I'll just wait for you to come. No need to do that because I'm already here. Ah, uh, nice. Okay, are we ready? Yep. All right, three, two, one, jump. Whoa, this isn't Minecraft. What the heck is this game? Oh, no. Mike, I think we're in Roblox. Bro, I've never even played this game. Let's jump in three, two, one, jump. Wait, what the heck? Um, why aren't we being teleported to a different timeline? I don't know. Wait, we don't have an inventory. I don't have any of my items. Mike, are we stuck in here? I don't know. I don't have any of my items. This is actually really bad. Hold up. If we traveled to a totally different timeline, then there must be another version of us. And what's your point? Well, if there's a Mike in this timeline, he might just have a time machine. Okay, then let's find this timeline's Mike. So Trump and Mike stayed together to find this timeline's Mike. Bro, do you even know where we are going? Nope, but I've got a feeling that it could be this way. Mikey, feelings aren't going to help us find this timeline's Mike. We just need to look around for people. Trump, that is a bad idea. Do you remember what happened last time we talked to people? Ah, uh, good point. Hold the hell up. I just thought of something. Where is the bush we trapped? Theoretically thinking, he should still be in my Minecraft inventory unless the timeline cleared it. And if that happened, then that bush should be put back in his timeline. Also, he wouldn't remember a single thing that happened. Oh, phew. So he won't be able to escape the egg, right? Trump, that egg is one of the most powerful things I have ever created. So no, he shouldn't be able to. I cannot believe Obama would have done that. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Ugh, I just want all of this to end. Please help me. Whoa, what the pickles is that noise? Help me out of this hole. Wait, is that you, Bush? Yes, now help me out of this hole. Where the heck is this hole you speak of? 
It's underneath that empty item frame. Okay. Bush, what the heck happened? There was another bush, and he trapped me in this hole. Wait, the other bush was here? Yes. Dog, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I gotta go tell the others that the fake bush was pretending to be the real bush. Trump. Bush was trapped in a hole. Wait, where the heck is Trump? Mike. Bush was trapped. Where the heck is everyone? All of them left. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm pretty sure Trump and Mike left town to look for you. And here you are, just barging into people's homes. Ben, I came to warn everyone about Bush. What's wrong with Bush? Did he forget to take his medicine again? No, there's a fake Bush in this timeline that trapped the real Bush. What? How is that even possible? I don't know. We just need to figure out where the heck Trump and Mike went. All right, let's start searching the town for any clues. Copy that. I'll search the east part of town and you'll search the west part of town. Got it? Yep. Now let's get to looking for clues. Oh, hold up. What is this? If you found this book, then just know that Trump and I traveled in time to return the fake Bush back to his timeline. If we're not back by tomorrow, then you have to press the button on my computer. By doing that, you will be sending us back to this timeline and the whole universe of timelines will be permanently destroyed. And one more thing. Tell Kamala that I love her. Oh my gosh. Does it say when they wrote it? Yeah, it was written a few hours ago. Okay, so the only thing we can do is sit around and wait? I hate to say it, but yes, we have to sit around and wait. That's great. Well, let's pray to God that they're able to get back here intact. Mike, just admit it. We are lost in this game. Trump, I'm almost certain we can find something that will help us out. How in the world are we going to find something? Trump, you have little hope in my searching abilities. Now just give it time and we will find something or someone that will help us get back. All right, fine. Uh, Mike. Yeah, what's up? Don't we have a time limit to get Bush back to his timeline? Oh, no. We got to go fast. Do you know how much time we have left? I don't know. My inventory didn't come with me, so I have no idea. Hey, I can see something in the distance. This could be our ticket out of here. Okay, let's hurry up. We need to get out of here as fast as we can. So, Trump and Mike ran toward whatever it was in the distance, and they found someone. Dog, I don't know how much more I can run. Oh, there's someone there. Okay, go talk to them. You're the professional at this. Ah, uh, never mind. Hi, I'm looking for a Mike Pence. Um, you are Mike Pence. Joey, I'm Donald Trump, not Mike. Oh, well, in that case, Mike is just that way. It's about flipping time. Mike, he's that way. Okay, let's go. Ben, do you know what time it is? It looks like it's 2 a.m. So they probably have like seven hours to go. How in the heck can you make an assumption like that? Well, it says it right there on that sign. We have to be back at 9 a.m. Oh, how the heck did I not notice that? Ugh, I wish we could help them with this. But no, we just have to sit here and do nothing. Hey, we have a very important job. And that job is pressing that button if they can't make it back. Fair point, but I feel like maybe I don't know. One of us should go find them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now that is the dumbest idea ever. There would be no point in doing that because they know what they're doing. But what if they got trapped? Joey, we cannot do it. It's way too risky. All right. However, we could clean up the town a bit to pass the time. Ooh, I like cleaning. All righty, let's do it. Trump, when we get there, you will have to talk to him. Wait, why do I have to do it? Because if that Mike sees me, then he'll know that I'm from a different timeline, and that'll mess up this timeline. Okay, that's some fairly good reasoning for me. All right, I think we're here. Trump, do not let him know that we are from a different timeline. Just say, I walk from Burger King, then I walk back home from Burger King. Wait, why do I have to say that? Trump, don't ask questions. Just do it. Okay, I'm going. Man, where could this guy be? Oh, bingo, there's the man I'm looking for. Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up, Trump? Nothing much. I walk from Burger King, then I walk back home from Burger King. Follow me. Dude, there ain't no way. Here, take this machine and make sure to press the button when you are done using it. Thank you, Mike. It's my pleasure. All right, it's time for us to get back. Mike, I got the machine. Very good. All right, are you ready to jump? Yes, I'm totally ready. All right, we'll go in three, two, one, jump. Ah! Whoa, we're back. And I still have my inventory. But wait, the egg is empty. Are you serious right now? I'm being so flipping serious. Trump, we need to find the fake bush right now. Where the fiddlesticks do we need to look? Well, it would most likely be in this timeline, so we'll split up and look for him. Mike, if we can't find this bush, then I just want you to know that you are my bestest friend. Trump, we will find him. Now let's go find him. We have five hours to do this. Those fools, they really think they're going to find me? Well, they would be wrong because they won't be finding me. Instead, they'll be finding my good old pal, the Trapmaster 9000. Ha ha ha. Mike, come in. I think we're back in the timeline we were in before. I think we are too. Oh, just remember something. There are still other people in this timeline, so Trump, you'll have to be careful by not talking to anyone. Bro, I learned my lesson the first time. I'll make sure not to say anything to anyone. Okay, then if that's the case, I'm going to hang up for now. If you need anything, then call me up. Okay, Mikey. Will do. 
Now it's time to find this scoundrel in under four hours and 55 minutes. If I was fake Bush, where would I be? Hmm. All right, so Bush would have a lot of ideas for building some sort of trap, but this time I have a feeling that this fake Bush wouldn't do that. Even though he may have set up a trap at my house, he just doesn't seem like someone to build a trap to trap someone. However, on the other hand, he could have built a trap to trap someone. I don't know, I just want to find him so I can go back and relax. Many long, excruciating hours later, they weren't successful. I need to call Mike. Trump, what's going on? Did you find anything? Mike, I can't find anything. This is hopeless. Trump, we only have 45 minutes left. This hunt cannot be hopeless. Newsflash, Mike, I haven't found a single clue or hint to find Bush. Look, we need to look harder. We have no choice. Look harder? Dude, I have been looking the hardest I have ever been and I can't even see a single thing. Heck, I could look up and I probably wouldn't see anything. Holy shoot, I see something. Ha, I knew it. Trump, give me the cord. Okay, I just sent them. Now get here as fast as you can. I'm putting my all into running right now. Put your entirety into running. We don't have time. If we don't have time, then search it without me. But what if it's a trap? If you think it's a trap, then try to get a better look. You'll know if it is or not if you just get a better look. Okay, I'm going to get a better look at this thing. I'll let you know what it is. Roger that, and please don't let me down. Dog, I don't let people down. Now pump your little legs to get here. Ben, I finished picking up everything. Very good. I'm glad you wanted to do everything for me. It's not a problem. Hey, have they come back yet? Well, seeing as they aren't here, I'm going to say probably not. Well, there's still an option to go in and find them. Joe, if it comes down to it, I will go in and find them. How much time do they have left? It looks like they have 38 minutes left. What? Ben, you have to go in now. Joe, give it time. I trust that they will make it back. Trust isn't going to help us. We just need to go in. Joe, you need to stop. They will come back. Just give it time. If they don't come back, then it's your fault. Ugh. Okay, I'm looking at it, and it just looks like, um, I actually don't know what that looks like. Also, I don't see Bush around here, so maybe he's hiding or something. Eh, I guess we'll just have to find out. Trump, I'm almost there. Did you get a better view of the thing? Yes, and now I'm walking toward it. I know I said that you should search it without me, but you should just wait for me to get there. Mike, we don't have time to wait. I'm going to search it. Trump, do not search that thing. Trump, Trump, don't search that thing. Don't search that thing, my rear end. We don't have time. I'm going to search this thing no matter what. Ah, uh, yes. I knew Trump would find it. Now all he has to do is step on it so that it traps him in it. Huh, this is so weird. It looks like some sort of bunker or something. Or rather, a trap. Ha, huh, now I can trap him. Wait, why isn't my stuff working? What's up, Bush? What the heck? No. Man, I'm so glad we created a plan before any of this. All right, let's get this Bush back to his timeline. Mike, are you there? Trump, I caught him. Oh, phew. For a second there, I thought you forgot about the plan. Nah, man. I don't forget legendary plans like that. You think my plans are legendary? Wow, thank you, Mikey. Save it. Let's find each other and get this bush back to his timeline. I'm actually right behind you. Ah, uh, I didn't realize that. Okay, get ready to jump in. Three, two, one, jump. Ah, uh, man, that never gets old. Trump, do you want to do the honors? Ah, uh, well, it would be my pleasure. All right, let's jump in. Three, two, one, jump. Ah, I think we're back. Oh, wow. We made it. We're finally back to our timeline. And only with three minutes left on the clock. Wow, I am surprised we were able to do it. Wait, let's go look to see if it's all back to normal. Yes, and let's be quick because we might have forgotten about something. Okay, it looks like... Wait, it's still off, but how? The ice cream bottles. Trump, find the bottles. I'll fire up the machine again. Okay, I'm on it. Bro, this place is clean. This is not good. Wait, let me search Joey's house. Okay, and the machine is booted up and ready to go. Mike, I found them. Okay, give them to me and I'll be back in a few seconds. Here, take them. I have one minute left. If I don't make it back, just know that you are my best friend. Hurry up and return the bottles. Okay, three, two, one, jump. Man, that was actually really fast. Dude, you literally had five seconds left. I know. Man, that was too stressful. Whoa, what the heck is going on? Joseph, do you know what you just caused? Whoa, who the heck are you? I am the editor, Joe. Ooh, that's cool. Joseph, it is not cool that you are seeing me, because that means you have destroyed the universe. How did I destroy the universe? You traveled through time using Mike's time machine without anyone knowing. And I'm not even talking about when you did it a few days ago. I'm talking about when you did it to find Trump and Mike because you thought they were apparently coming back, even though they would have came back completely fine. So, I destroyed the timeline by being dumb? Unfortunately, yes. 
However, I am able to give you two options to potentially fix it all. You can either go back to the day of the big war, or you can sit on the one chunk for eternity. Wait, the big war? That was the day I unalived. Yes, but I'm allowing you to find a way to stay alive when you go back. But what about all of the enemies? To be honest, that's your problem. What the heck? So, what's it gonna be? One chunk or the big war? Uh, hmm, you know what? I think I'll go back to the big war. So be it. Let me get the universe booted back up again. How long is that going to take? I don't know, probably like three days. Bro, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? I mean, I can give you a replica trump to play with on the one chunk world. Alright, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Your replica trump should be delivered soon. Okay, thank you. No problem. Alright, it was nice talking to you, Joey. Uh, I can't believe I'm going back to the original war. That's just weird to me. Ah, hello there. Oh, great. Man, that Denton guy is fairly weird. To be honest, what feels weird is me going back to the end of something that has changed the course of time. I just feel like it's not right. Well, if you don't want to go back to the war, then you can just ask Denton to leave you here. And that's the problem. I don't know if Denton has any mercy. Like, he seems like an evil person. Look, I'm sure Denton is not an evil person. However, he could downright be a selfish person. Hmm, I guess I'll probably sleep on it because there's nothing I can do or plan out. Joseph, I say that you should give it a shot. Just ask him straight up if you can go back to your designated timeline. I don't see any risks. You know what? Maybe you're right. Okay, next time I see Denton, I'm going to ask him if I can go back to my timeline. When's the next time you'll see this mysterious man? Well, he said that the universe would be booted up in three days, so I guess in three days he should be back here to let me know about it being booted up. Hmm, I guess in the meantime we could build a fancy house to live in. No offense, but I'd rather live in my own house rather than live in one with you. Fair enough. So, Joe passed the time by doing various things, such as building a house, farming and mining, and when the final day arrived, Denton came back. Welp, it's the last day, and now I'm going to wait. Um, Joe? Yes, Replica Trump? Uh, what's going to happen to me when you're gone? Well, um, I'm not entirely sure. I could probably ask him when he gets back. Jokey, the universe is booted up. Where in the one chunk are you? We're over here. All right, good. Are you ready to go back to the timeline? Well, about that, I was wondering if I could just go back to the timeline I was in before. Joey, I told you already. You destroyed that timeline. There is no way I'm letting you go back. Denton, you don't understand. All of my friends were there, and they were absolutely great friends, like Ben. Ben is a very funny fellow that makes jokes about nerdy things. Trump is a great friend, too. Sure, he may have messed with me a bit, but he was a great person. It almost felt like a brother that I never had, and Obama. Ugh, he and I aren't on the greatest of terms right now, but I still love him like a friend, because we've practically been friends our entire lives. Denton, you gotta let me back into my timeline. It's the only good thing I've ever had. What's the only good thing you've ever had? My friends. Hmm, alright, fine. I shall send you back into that timeline. However, you will have to do something for me. What do you mean? Well, I'm gonna put you in a fresh timeline that has your friends in it. But you will have to save them from unexpected events by using critical thinking. Dude, you've gotta be kidding me. Why in the world can't you just send me back right now? Joey, I need to be sure that you actually care about your friends. And what better way to do that by making you do this? It's too perfect. Okay, then can you at least let Replica Trump come with me? I cannot let him go with you. He needs to be put in a better place. Wait, you're not going to do what I think you're going to do, right? I'm sorry, Joseph. It has to happen. Why, though? Don't you care about anyone? Like, you could leave him here? That's not how it works, Joe. I don't care. Don't unalive him. If you unalive him, then I'll unalive myself too. Whoa, Joe, there's no need to do that. Here, how about this? I give Replica Trump his own timeline and he can live a happy life. How about that? As long as he doesn't die in a matter of seconds or days of getting there, then yes, I'm happy with it. Very well then. I shall create him a new timeline and in the meantime, he will be here in this one chunk world. Good. I'm glad we were able to come up with a compromise. Yes. Anyway, are you ready to prove that you are a loyal friend? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Alright, I want you to jump on the count of three. One, two, psych. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, three, two, one, jump. Whoa, that kind of felt like the first time I met Jill. Anyway, I need to find out where the heck I am. So, Joseph searched the area and couldn't find anything. That was until he was able to find the original town. Holy moly, this is the original town. I wonder if everyone is nice in this timeline. Joey, can you hear me clearly? 
Whoa, what the heck? Did you plant a microphone thing in my head? The heck? No, I'm just talking to you normally. All right, whatever. So what the heck am I supposed to do first? Okay, you need to find Hillary. She'll be walking out of her house in one minute. Why would I need to know that? Well, someone may have put a trap at her doorstep that can unalive her in a matter of seconds. Oh, what the heck, Denton? You're crazy. Hey, I had to give you a challenge somehow. Yeah, a challenge that is completely insane. Dude, chill out. I'm sure you can make it to her house before she walks out. But what if I don't make it? Well, if you don't make it, then you'll be sent back to the Big War timeline. What? I only get one shot at doing this? Bro, I can't just make this an easy cakewalk. So, of course, there's only one shot at doing this. That's just great. Oh, I see her house, and, and I also see the trap. You better hurry up before she walks over it, Joseph. I cannot concentrate with you talking to me. Okay, I should place this dirt block in front of the door and break the plate. Hmm, that's a very interesting approach. Yeah, and it's more interesting than you. Well, why the pickles is there a dirt block at my front door? Oh, it's you. Why in the world did you do that? Uh, well, there was a trap at your front door, so I got rid of it. You got rid of the trap by placing dirt? Wow, I'll have to use that strategy sometime. Yeah, anyway, I gotta go to my bed, and I'll see you later. Bro, that was smooth as butter. Hush. Okay, who's the next person that needs saving? So, the next person on the list is Bush. Oh, great. What did Bush get himself into this time? You'll see when we get there. Hold up. You never told me where he's located. Oh, he's actually at your old house. Hold up. Is he taking my stuff from the chest? Yes. Man, now I don't want to save him from whatever it is, but I have to. Wait, what am I saving him from? So he's about to down a whole bottle of the stuff you take in the morning? Oh my gosh, he can't do that. He's gonna unalive. Then you better hurry up and save him. Bro, I'm trying to hurry up right now. But the problem is I can't run any faster than I am now. To be honest, that seems like a you issue. Don't even start that right now. Mmm, I can't wait to try this yummy stuff. All right, here comes the airplane. Stop right now. You're not supposed to have that. Oh, come on. I just wanted to try that yummy stuff. No more yummy stuff for you. Now give me back my stuff and leave the premises. All right, fine. You can have your netherite armor, netherite tools, netherite blocks, and stacks of steak back. Thank you. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. Okay, what's next, Dent? First off, don't call me Dent. Second off, you need to take a break. Just like, take a walk and stuff. Dog, is this all a part of the plan or something? No, not at all. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll just walk around. Alrighty, you failed that test. Wait, what the crabfish? Don't worry, I just wanted to test how much you care about your friends that could potentially be in trouble. Bro, I literally asked what we needed to do next. You did, but it seemed like you didn't really care. I do care, though. Alright, fine. I'll let this slide. But if you act like this again, I'm gonna send you back to the big war timeline. Fair enough. Okay, who's the next person that needs saving? The next person that needs saving is Benny, and he is located in the mountains. I'm going to assume that you're talking about the ones on the east side. Yep. And the thing you have to save him from is a falling anvil trap. Where the heck do you come up with these trap ideas? Don't ask. Anyways, this will be the last time I tell you where anyone is. And why is that? Well, you know, this seems to be too easy for you. Okay, that's fair. But will you at least tell me what traps there are for specific people? I can do that. Okay, I'm here. Now where the heck is he? Just look around. You'll know where he is. Uh, oh, I see him. Ben. Stop moving. Now, hypothetically speaking, why would I do that? Because there's an anvil trap somewhere in this forest. Joseph, the chances of you lying are 69%. Why should I believe you? Oh, look. I have a copy of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. Wait. Okay, I'll believe you. Just hand me the book. First, you have to step out of the area you are in. All right, all right. And make sure to be careful where you walk. I am being careful. There, I left the area. Now give me the book. Here you go. You're welcome. Okay, who's the next person? Joseph. What? Joseph. What do you want? You asked who the next person was, and I'm telling you that it's Joseph. But I am Joseph. Oh, right. I must have forgotten to remove that from the last time. Anyway, the next person is actually Drake. Drake isn't my friend. All right, fine. How about Tucker? Tucker Carlson. Yeah, and I know for a fact that you guys are friends with him. Bro, he's not even in the server. Dude, he joined a while ago. All right, whatever. Could you at least tell me what I'm saving him from? Yep, you are saving him from a lava trap. Like an underground lava trap? Well, it's in the ground, so I guess. All right, then I'll start to search for it. Good luck looking for him. He's in a very strange spot. Oh, great. So Joe searched all of the strange places and couldn't find anything. Denton, I've been searching for so long. Can you give me a hint or something? Tree. He's in a dang tree. Uh, why in the world would Tucker be in a tree? Don't worry about it. Hey, you know there's a time limit, right? You said nothing about a time limit. Okay, now I have to find this dude. Joseph, I'm... Joseph, I'm not gonna lie. I think you need glasses or something. 
What? Oh my gosh, I can see him over there in that tree. Yeah, and he's about to leave that tree to step on the ground. Oh shoot, I have to stop him. Tucker, stop walking. Tucker. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You know he's got headphones on, right? Ah, uh, I'll do something else then. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna... Ah, uh, well, what is going on? Well, you were literally about to unalive in a lava trap. So I placed down some water to get rid of the lava. Wow, you're a hero, Joe. Thank you. It's not a problem. Just make sure to keep one earphone off when wearing headphones. All right, that guy is taken care of. Who's the next one? Okay, so the next person goes by the name Michelle. That is incorrect. It's actually the Michelin Man. Are you referring to the dude made out of tires? No, I'm talking about Obama's husband. But Obama's wife's name is Michelle. It says right here on my list. Well, whatever list you're reading off of is not correct. Anyway, what am I saving her from? So, um, you aren't gonna like this one. You have to jump in front of an arrow for her. Bro, that's crazy. Why can't I just use a shield? Because you don't have time to get one. I keep forgetting about that ludicrous timer. It's not ludicrous, it's smart. Never mind that. I gotta find this dude. But where in this world could he be? I think it's fairly obvious where she could be. Oh, let me guess. Is he in a therapy office or something? Donald, what do you do when someone says something mean about you? We ignore them and move on to the next thing. Very good, Donald. Now what do we say when someone shares something of theirs? We say thank you. Wow, you're doing great, Donald. All right, I'll call it there for today. I hope to see you tomorrow. All righty, I hope to see you tomorrow too. Man, my life has been great lately. Okay, I'm finally out of that hole. Now I can take it out with my TNT and arrows. Mwahahaha. Oh, dude, there's actually a therapy office. WTH, hold up. I just had a thought. How would Michael get hit by an arrow? You might want to think about that later. It's about to go down. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going. Ah, uh, I'm so happy to see some progress from Trump. Michael, watch out. Oh, my gosh. Are you okay, Joe? Oh, I forgot to mention something. The building is going to explode in a few seconds. We need to get the hell out of here, Michael. A boom boom is about to go off. Are you serious? Get out of the building now. I'm going. I'm going. You may want to get out, too. I can't. That shot hurt so bad. Here, drink this potion. What's this? Just drink it and run for your life. Joseph, are you okay? I'm actually feeling great right now. Thanks for asking. But you got shot in there and nearly dodged an explosion. Michelle, really, I'm fine. I just need to go somewhere. Man, you're so lucky. Because if I didn't give you that potion, then you'd be unalived. Thank you, Denton. You really are a lifesaver. It's my pleasure, dog. Alright, the next guy is Mike Pence. He's about to perform some tests on a dirt block, and the test turns into a disaster. Oh, I know where that slippery lib is. He's at his laboratory doing all this stuff. We'll see. Mike, stop performing your tests. Wait, he's not even here. Huh, that's very odd, isn't it? Hold up. I feel like you're hiding something. Or rather, he's hiding something. Bingo. All turbines are active. Flux capacitors are running. And most importantly, the dirt is in the frame. Time to fire it up. Wait, don't pull that lever. Hey, what's up, Joey? I was just about to run some tests on this dirt block. Mike, if you pull that lever, then everything will turn into a disaster. What are you talking about? I did all of the calculations, so there is nothing that can go wrong. Well, something could go wrong, like that weird-looking thing over there. It could potentially do a boom-boom, or maybe other things that my head knows. Oh, huh, what? Man, I think I know some other things, but my head doesn't want to respond. Oh, um, the flux capacitors. Oh... Uh... One of them is unplugged. One of your flux capacitors isn't plugged in. Joey, I would know if one of my flux capacitors wasn't plugged in. Oh, wait. One of them is actually unplugged. Joe, tell him that his dirt block isn't aligned with the particles. Oh, and the dirt block isn't in the right direction. I made sure to triple check it. Oh, it's not actually facing the right way. And you can't forget about the turbines. They need to be a C3 model, not the older ones. And I noticed you were using turbines that were the older models. I know for this type of thing, you would definitely need the C3 model. But my old one should handle it. No, it'll just burn out and blow up this entire place. Hmm, maybe you're right. All right, I'll push off the project. I just need to get the newer model for this. Yeah, I mean, dang, that sucks. Oh, well. Real smooth, Joey. Zip it. I don't see you down here doing this. All right, you've got a point. I know I do. Okay, who's the next person? The next person is Trump, and he is about to fight a bear. A bear? Like a polar bear? Yes, like a polar bear. Hmm. I remember in the olden days, Trump and I trapped a polar bear underneath my house. So I wonder if he could be there. Wow, it sounds like someone took their peels today. 
I did take my peels today. Thank you for noticing. No problem. Hey, is that your house? Oh my gosh. It's my old dirt house. I can't believe I'm seeing this again. Wait, I remember something. When Obama and I were searching for who stole my green stuff, Obama found a hole behind my house. Hey, I found a hole. What the heck is this? Dude, that must be the entrance. How did you not know that before? Oh wait, I forgot that you didn't take your peels on that day. Hush, I'm gonna dig into it. Please help me, I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, is that replica Trump? This needed to have high stakes, you know. High stakes my rear end. Replica Trump, take this sword. Joe, is that you? Yes, it's me. Now grab the sword and take care of business. Okay, I grabbed the sword and I'm taking him on. Don't unalive, Trump. Trust me, I can do this. Yeah, take that. Trump, Trump, are you okay? Hi, Joey. I unalived the bear. Don't do that. I thought you unalived. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Okay, who's the next person? Actually, this is the last person. Wait, this is the last one? Yep. To be honest, I'm surprised you were able to save all those people. Like, I kind of expected you to fall asleep halfway through. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Okay, so who's the last person? The last person is Obama, but you guys had a big argument, so I don't know if I should count him. Denton, can you make Obama a friend again? Joe, you know I can't do that. Well, can't you change it up a bit? Do you want me to count Obama as a friend or not? Uh, things are complicated right now, but I guess we can count him as a friend. Alrighty, so you'll have to save him from a nuke that someone left at his house. Whoa, Denton, that's way too far. Joe, this is all a test. Nothing is too far for me. Anyway, it looks like you have three minutes to tell him about the nuke. Bro, his house is literally over five hours away. Not that house, you knucklehead. I'm talking about his original White House. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay, I can make it. I love the enthusiasm, Joe. I do too, but it's probably not going to be around for 2024. Joseph, focus. You need to save your quote-unquote friend. Yeah, you're right. We may not be on good terms, but he's still one of the greatest friends a guy could ever have. Joseph? Yes, Denton. I'll see you soon. Wait, what are you doing? Are you leaving me? Denton, I can't focus on that. I need to save Obama and the town. Let me be clear. This is the most amazing flower pot in the whole Minecraft world, and nothing could ruin it. Obama, there's a nuke underneath your house. Talk about bad timing. Joseph, how would you know? Um, because I hear beeping. Joe, did you take your peels today? Obama, you gotta listen to me. We only have one minute to defuse it. Hmm, all right. I'll take a look, but if there's nothing there, then I'm gonna pull another 2016. Trust me, there's definitely something there. Oh, my gosh. There really is a nuke down here. Are you able to defuse it? Can I defuse it? Joe, I'm a master at this, and it's diffused. Wow, you did it. Of course I did it. I'm the best in the business. Uh, why is it beeping? Oh, shoot. Joe, do you have a piece of dirt? I don't. Let me get one. Hurry. We only have 10 seconds. I'm grabbing the dirt. Okay, I got it. Obama here. Okay. Did it work? Joe, I'm going to be honest. I planted that nuke under my house. What, what are you talking about? I wanted to see if you still cared about me, even after we had that big fight. Wait, you're my timeline's Obama? Yes, Joe. I am the original Obama. But how? Well, Denton told me to create this whole situation just to see if you still valued our friendship after the fight we had. Obama, I still value the friendship. But you threatened our town, our people, and most importantly, our friendship. I couldn't let one of my friends do that. Joe, I don't want to start any wars anymore, and I don't want to threaten anyone or anything. I threw away all my plans and disposed of all my weapons. You know, I remember when Trump wanted us to sign a contract to become friends and to stop the fights, but we didn't sign it. We just kept on and on with our shenanigans. But then we had the big war, which I still regret to this day. The point is, everyone can be forgiven for what they have done, whether it be boom booming a friend's house or taking their tools. Friends can always be forgiven for those things. Joe, will you forgive me for what I have done? By the way, don't feel pressured to answer right now. You can answer at any time you wish to answer. Obama, I forgive you. You're my best friend and that will never change, ever. Joe, jump for me in three, two, one jump. Ah, oh, I see you have brought an old friend back. Denton, I thought I would never see you again. On the contrary, my crusty old friend. I never leave without saying my goodbyes. Thank you, Denton. No, thank you. You've given me something to do for these past couple of days and it made me realize that fixing friendships are awesome feeling. You should be proud of yourself. Eh, nah. Alrighty, I'm gonna go back to my mom's basement. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, friend. Man, that was a crazy day. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to finally fix our friendship. Wait, where am I? I'm just kidding. Huh, your jokes are still mediocre as always.
Thanks to everyone that has become a member and a massive thanks to CC Afton. If you want custom emojis, shout outs and early updates for videos, then you can join the membership for 99 cents. Once again, big thanks to CC Afton the goat. Ah, ouchie. Dude, please tell me I'm hallucinating. Trump, you buffoon. You sent us through the stupid time machine. I didn't think it was going to send us through when we went in. I thought you had to press a button. Great, just great. Ah, oh, man. Sitting here watching the world is great. I have no cares, no worries, nothing. This really is the life. Ronnie, I want to speak to you. Come to my office. Wow, I've never been asked by him to do anything. Ah, I'm glad you were able to make it. Anyways, let's address some things. I'm sure you remember when Joe used that time machine and ruined everything, right? Dude, I never forget such a big event like that. Everyone was scrambling just to get everything back on track. Why do you ask? Well, it's unfortunately causing some problems for us. When I gave Joe his life back, I have been getting some letters from an old friend. Wait, are you talking about- Don't say his name. That name shall never be said in this great place. Anyways, we're gonna go back a bit. You won a life to Joe by the trap he left in Obama's White House. Now since the whole timeline was messed up, your death was altered. So you're saying that I could have lived a lot longer if Joe didn't mess with the timeline? Yes, Ronald, yes. Now let me get to the point. You have to be sent back down there. Hold the truck up. Why are you sending me back down? Ronald, chill out. You'll find out everything you need to do on this little notepad here. Give that to me. How long will this take? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I will wish you good luck. The wait, what? Denton? No! Ah. Whoa, where am I? Dog, this is some weird looking room that I need to get out of. Holy shoot, that was scary. Okay, I need to focus and read this book Denton gave me. Dear Ronnie, you're probably wondering what you have to do. Well, it's a bit complicated, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. You have to send Joe to the real life timeline where everything is skinny. I know it sounds crazy, but keep reading. A person on the server who goes by the name Mike Pence has a time machine. You can use that to send him to the skinny timeline, but there's a catch. We need to do this nicely and perfectly. So what you'll do is make yourself known to all of the people on the server and slowly become their friends. This process could take a while, but it's worth it to make it perfect. I trust that you will obey my orders and everything will go as planned. Good luck. Denton. Well, this is going to suck. All right, I got to find the town. I'm going to take a guess and say this way. I could be entirely wrong, but I won't think like that. I'll be very optimistic about this. Ah, oh, man, this new me feels so strange. That's really the only way I can describe it. Trump. It's great to finally have you back, Joey. I really thought my old life was over, but now I finally have it back. Thank you, Denton. Uh, who's Denton? Oh, don't worry about it. Anyways, I think it's time we get this town back in shape. Dude, nothing changed when you left. Oh, really? And that's actually dope. Except for the fact that you destroyed the whole timeline before. Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot about that. Well, luckily, all of that is over now. Okay, if my estimate is correct, the town should hypothetically be over here. Whoa, what is this? It looks like some sort of build was blown up by someone. You know, I'd expect myself to know since I've been watching the world for a while, but nope, I really have no idea what happened here. Anyways, let's go this way. Oh boy, it's my house. I can't believe it's still here. Huh, what is this? Dear Joe, just wanted to let you know that I'm moving. Ever since you destroyed all the timelines, I just felt like it wasn't right for me to have such power near a frail old man. Anyways, if you're reading this at 2.02 p.m., then I should be at my old home for a few more minutes. So if you want to say goodbye, then this is your last chance. Sincerely, Mike. Oh, no, this is all my fault that Mike is moving. I have to stop him. Mike, please tell me you're still here. Joe, you better be here to just say goodbye. Mike, you know I can't do that. Look, I'm sorry for using your time machine and for destroying the timeline. I only wanted to save my friends. Uh, Joseph, I uh, appreciate the apology, but I just feel like this is best for the town. And I, the only reason all of these timelines are breaking is because of me and my machines. I know that you used them, but I was the one who built them in the first place. Mike, don't blame yourself. My stupid brain is the only one in this town that can make a stupid decision like that. So it was more of my fault than yours. I'm sorry, Joe, but I must go. It's for the better of this town. Hey, what is going on down here? Mike, why did you empty your lab? Well, I'm moving away. These machines I built are too dangerous, and I feel as if I need to get them away from everyone. Mike, you can't leave. We finally got our friendship straightened out. I know, and it will stay like that. I just need to leave to stop any more bad things from happening. But Mike! I'm sorry, Trump and Joe. Uh, goodbye, old friends. Mike, wait. Ronald! Ronald, I thought everyone said you went alive. I was, but I have come back to get my life back in order. What, all this isn't making sense? Uh, look, you can't leave. And I came back just to see you. You came back from heaven to see me? Yes, Mike. This is crazy. Like, 
You really just came back to see me? I came back to see the whole town, but my focus is on you now because you want to leave. Since you came back, maybe I will stay. Do you really mean it? Well, if I stayed, I would have to dispose of these machines I have built. It's your call, Mike. The machines or your friends? Mm, all right, fine. I'll stay with you guys. Thank you, Mike. This means a whole lot to me, and I'm sure it means a lot to the town as well. Well, you want to help me move back in? Sure thing, pal. And I think that's everything. Thanks for the help, man. It's the least I can do. Anyways, I'm going to find a place to put my house. Hey, I can help you find a spot if you'd like. Oh, that would be very nice of you. All right, just follow me. So what do you think? I think this is great. You are a literal Chad for finding this amazing piece of land, friend. Thanks, Ronnie. All right, I'll leave you to build your house. See ya. All righty, I'll talk to you later. Okay, so it seems they're acting like I'm a close friend. Now I just have to get that time machine. Wait, he's going to dispose of it. I have to find a way to somehow stop him. Think Reagan. Oh, I got it. I have the choice to use fire or lava to dispose of these machines. Hmm. I think I'll go with the fire. Mike, you've got to help Trump. He's in danger. What? What are you talking about? Where is he? He's in Joe's house. I'm coming to help Trump. Thank you, Mikey. Now, it's time for me to send Joe to the skinny timeline. Joe, where are you? I need you. Mm, oh, Joe, free ice cream. They... Ice cream? Where's the ice cream? It's right here. Just step on this and it will dispense a chocolate chip cone. Oh, boy, this is going to be some great ice cream. Uh... Mission complete. Now, I need to find Mike to tell him something. Ah, uh, ouchie. Whoa, what is this place? Whoa, this is a dope house. I'll bid $69 million. You owe me, Joe. Uh, what do I owe you now? You owe me $69 million for the house you wanted to buy. I don't have $69 million, though. Also, where am I? Jokey, did you forget your meds again? We're at the house I just bought for you. But I thought I was just talking to Reagan. Ronald Reagan? Joe, Ronald unalived in 2004. I think you definitely forgot your meds. Here, let's go inside and Obama will feed you your meds. Oh, okay. Now there are two outcomes for this. Outcome one, he'll be forgiving for what I've done. And outcome two, he will be absolutely mad at me. Ronnie, Trump wasn't in there. In fact, I found him, and he told me that he was completely fine. Well, I thought I heard him screaming in Joe's house. Ronald, don't lie to me. I would have heard Trump if he screamed. Can you hear him screaming right now? Honestly, I can only hear my generator generating power from my house. But Trump is screaming. Nope, Trump is not screaming. Oh, whatever. I'll go see what he's screaming about since you want to pretend. Trump, what's wrong? My wall. Someone removed a piece of it up. Was that really all you were screaming about? Look, my wall is so important to me. Oh, that's actually so important. Is there any way I can help? Build a little bit higher. This wall will be back in shape in no time. We could have just replaced the one block of... Yeah, but this wall really means a lot to me. Keep going, Ronnie. Dude, this wall is so tall. That looks good, Ronald. You can come down now. How do I do that? Just jump in this little pool of water. Ah. Uh... Wow, you did it. You're a great friend. It's not a problem. Anyways, I better get going. See you, Trump. Hey, don't leave just yet. I want to ask you something. Would you want to take a walk tomorrow? You want to take a walk with me? Well, yeah. I feel like it's been a while since we've really done something together, especially since you unalived a long time ago. Look, let's not reminisce. I think taking a walk would be nice. I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Yes, sir. All right, what do you guys want from here? Can I have a happy meal with fries? Can I get a happy meal with fries? Okay, what else? Oh, and can I have a Coke with that? Also, add a small Coke to that. Not small, I want a large one. Make that a large instead. Oh, man, I can't wait to eat this yummy Happy Meal. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Hey, stop eating my fries, huh? Look, I still feel a bit famished. You had two quarter pounders in the car. Trust me, Sleepy Joe. You are not still hungry, Trump. You never act like this. What are you talking about? This is how I always act. You're normally a lot nicer. Yeah, a lot nicer than Jill. Uh, see, that isn't something you would say at all. Jokey, I think Obama slipped something in your drink again. His name is Obama, not Obama. All right, whatever, Mr. Smarty Pants. Wow, it's already midnight. That's crazy. Well, I guess I should get some sleep before I go back up tomorrow. Ah, uh, good night, Mr. Wigglesworth. Man, I love to. Ah! What's wrong, Joseph? My blankie. It's gone. Ah! What is that noise? Oh, it's just that box thing with ancient writing on it. Joey, get up. We're heading to Dunkin' Donuts. Ooh, do they have ice cream there? No, but they do have donuts. Oh, I guess that's fine. Ugh, I really don't feel like getting out of bed, but this is the last day, so I will try. Ah, uh, all right, let's get ready for this. Teeth brush, check boots on, check shower. Oh, I don't think I can shower. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, I think I'm ready for this day. Ah, a little bit of McTrumpies and I'm ready to go. Wait, Trump didn't say where he wanted to meet me at. Oh, there you are. 
Good morning, Ronald. How was your sleep? Oh, it was quite dandy. How about yours? It was good. Anyway, shall we walk? Of course. Man, this place is beautiful. I know, right? I don't think much has changed, but it still looks really good. Yeah. So how has life been for you? Oh, well, you know, it's just been a sort of bumpy here and there, but I pushed through it because I'm a boss. Well, what about Joe? I noticed he got a bit smarter than before. Oh, trust me when I say this. He has not gotten smarter, and I'm trying to say this in the nicest way possible, but he may have devolved throughout the years. That's, uh... That's a bit unfortunate. And honestly, it probably explains why he used Mike's time machine. I actually beg to differ on that one because it really seemed like he was caring about his friends. He may have been caring about his friends, but he still wasn't thinking like at all. True, true. Hey, Trump. What's up, Reagan? Well, um... Ronald, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say that you've matured a bit from the looks of it. I'm glad someone finally noticed. It's been a long and tedious thing I've been trying to adapt to, and now I've almost fully adapted to it. That's great. I'm glad to hear... Man, that breakfast was great. I wonder what the rest of this day holds. Boys, I think it's about time we move out of this house. Wait, what? I just think we can't get much done here, and that's why we're moving. Oh, I'll get it. Hi, I'm looking for a Donald Trump, Joe Biden, and Barack Obama. Hold up, is that you, Josh? You've seen too much. Team, apprehend the suspects. Joe, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm following you, Obama. Put your hands where I can see them. I want my freaking lawyer right now. Josh, where are the other suspects? I don't know. Search the rest of the house. Oh, what is this? Obama, where are we going? Well, you can take a look for yourself. Uh, it looks like an old house. It's not just an old house, it's our old house. I don't remember this a single bit. Come inside. Welcome to the old casa. Wow, this place looks nice. Uh, uh, wait, what is that? Boys, please help me. Wait, is that you, Reagan? It is me. Now, please help me out. Uh, help you out of the game. No, help me out of these nuts. Yes, help me out of this game. Uh, how did you get in there in the first place? Well, me and Trump were playing on the Minecraft server, and some mysterious dude showed up behind me. I don't remember anything after that besides being here. What Minecraft server are you talking about joe you should know which one i'm talking about it's the war server uh wait i remember now why am i in real life i knew it me and trump knew there was something off about you you knew about him not being your timelines joe open the freaking door we followed you with this tracking device you left at your house oh shoot you guys need to go not without you i'm taking you with me okay let's go ebi come out with your hands up wait where are they yeah, baby, we're out of there. Yes, sir. Ronald, thanks for letting us know about this car. Mr. EBI agent, I'd like to know why you guys are taking me in. Well, the timeline is breaking, and unfortunately, you guys were involved in the incident. But we've never owned a time machine, nor have we ever touched one. Look, I'll cut to the chase. Joe definitely used a time machine. There's no denying it. And now, we need to find him so we can send him back. So you're telling me that the Joe, who is our friend, is not actually our Joe? I know it's a hard thing to accept, but we still kind of want to run some tests to solidify the EBI's statements of him not being from this timeline. Honestly, I will help you guys find him, but I want your trust. Oh, you want our trust? Just follow me. Josh, there's someone I want you to meet. Hold up, it's Trump. Look, I want to help you guys find Joe. This guy told me everything about the situation. Arnold, did you tell him about Bill? I wanted to leave that for you to show. Trump, watch this video. Josh, before I go, I want you to make a promise to me. Yes, Bill? Find the man that is doing this and send him back for good. I will find the man who is causing all this. Arnold, let's go. Yes, sir. I, I don't know what to say. Trump, with your help, we can stop the guy who is behind all of this. All right, I think... Ah! Wait, there's Joey. You'll never take me alive. Joe, wait. I'm making a deal. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, before I go into detail, Josh, I'm putting my trust in your operation. Trump, what are you doing? He wanted to capture us. I wanted to capture Joe, not you guys. The only reason all of this is happening is because of Joe using the time machine. An unaliving Bill. I don't know what you're talking about. Joe, we can run some tests to see if you're really this timeline's Joe. I don't trust this one bit. Team 5, don't let him escape. Obama, oh, please don't run away. And I won't, because the theory we had was true. The one about McDonald's meat? No, I'm talking about the one about Joe acting different. No way! I didn't think that was true. Yeah. Uh, did you tell Josh about it? Tell me about what? Josh, I caught him. I'm gonna put him in the temporary cell for now. Very good. All right. What were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say that Joe has been acting a bit odd, so I don't know if that helps with your research. Yeah, that sort of helps. Oh, I have to get the tester ready. Trump, why didn't you tell him? Because I love this Joe. He's half nice and half dumb. I agree, but if he stays here, the universe might be destroyed. I don't care. He ain't leaving. Trump, stop right now. Oh, jeez, you're a heavy son of a gun. Wait, what is ah! that? Ah! Ah! 
Ouchie! Dude, please tell me I'm hallucinating. Trump, you buffoon. You sent us through the stupid time machine. I didn't think it was going to send us through when we went in. I thought you had to press a button. Great, just great. Welp, how does this even work? I think you just move your legs. Whoa, it's all blocky. Oh my gosh, what happened to everything? Dude, is this really the place you lived in? This used to be the place I lived in, but it's all different. What happened? Has it always been like this? It's never been like this. Actually, it was like this when I broke the timeline before. Wait, are you saying that you... Uh, every time I'm involved with everything, something always goes wrong. Joe, please don't run away. Or what? Am I going to ruin more things? You're not going to ruin anything. Donald, just let him go. We have to get back to our timeline. Arnold, I am not leaving Joe here. Trump, you're going to destroy the universe. Just let it go. I never should have used that time machine. I wish everything was back to how it originally was. Whoa, am I asleep again? Joseph. Who's there? It is me, the editor. Thanks to everyone on screen for becoming a member. Also, thanks for watching. Joseph, where are you? I've spent two hours looking for you. Ugh, I should have just stayed with Arnold. Trump, there you are. Why in the world did you run off like that? Because Joey is my friend and I am not going to lose him. He is not your timeline's Joe, though. He is the Joe from a Minecraft timeline. I don't care. Donald, let's go back. There's no point in searching for him. He is just gone. Uh, what the heck is this place? Joe, follow me. So you may have noticed that everything is different. Well, Joe, I gotta be honest with you. The amount of time you were gone totals up to three years. What? What? Joseph, listen to me. When you go to another timeline, the way time works will change. So I was gone for three entire years? But how? It only felt like a month since I was in there. Like I said, time will be different for every timeline. Hey, where are you going? Joe, what are you doing? If I can't stop traveling in time, then I'm gonna stop it all. Uh, Joe, what is that in your hand? Oh, whoa. That potion Trump gave me in the skinny timeline didn't exactly take me to the past. Ah, uh, Mr. Joe Biden, the original Joe Biden from timeline number one. Oh, what the heck? Where am I? Hello, Joseph. I see you just woke up from a dream. That wasn't a dream. I was running away from Donald, and then I passed out or something and saw Denton, and now I'm here in this weird-looking dungeon thing. Oh, you saw Denton. Interesting. Where was he when you saw him? Why do you want to know that? Are you planning to get ice cream with him? And oh, of course. We've been planning this ice cream trip for a while now. I don't trust you. Tell me who you are. Wait, why do you have red eyes? Joe, it's just me, Trump. I ate some red glowberries before I got here. No, it's not. Uh, someone help me. There's a crazy man holding me hostage. Just an FYI. We are way underground, so no one can hear anything you just said. Then why did I just hear a cow moo through the wall? Uh, knockout blaster. Wait, what? Ah. Uh... Hey, Obama, why does it look like the time machine was used? Wait a second, did Trump just use it? I don't know. I was just running to stop Trump from keeping Joe here. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me. Arnold Joe, Trump, great. This is awesome. Now we have to get these numbskulls out of there before they set off a bomb or something. And how do you suppose we do that? Well, I should be able to rip a small hole in time for them to jump through. Just gotta reprogram this teleporter. You'll rip a hole in time for them to jump through, but how are they even gonna know about it? I, I actually didn't think that far ahead. Oh, hold up. We can use this to let them know about it. You're gonna use an infinite loop of Minecraft parkour to let them know about the ripped hole in time? Exactly. Reagan, can you get out of third person mode? Uh. Who are you talking to? Ronald, just switch your POVs real quick. Obama, this is no time to talk to your computer. We need to get them back before it's too late. Just give me a second. Ronnie, please show yourself. That's it. You need to get the heck out of here if you're going to keep talking to a computer. I'm trying to help my friends out, you robot. Man, these guys don't know when to be quiet. Well, at least I didn't... Ah. Hey, what the heck? Ah! And that takes care of that problem. Ah. Ah. Josh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Well, where are we, and why is my whole body square? It appears we're in some sort of Minecraft world. Uh, if everything is square, does that mean my- Barack, we need to search for that ripped hole. You'll go that way, and I'll go this way. That's not very smart, Josh. There could be something in these lands that could harm us. Look, I get that you need an actual man to keep you safe, but right now we need to cover as much ground as we can. We have a set amount of time to find it before it closes off and traps us in here for good. All right, fine. Then how will we be able to communicate with each other? Well, lucky for you, I have these. They're walkie-talkies. Whoa, were these from the skinny timeline? Yep, I created them just for this type of situation. Okay, how do we use them? I don't think we have any fingers. I don't know how. We'll have to figure it out while we're searching. All right, I guess I'll see you later. I guess so too. Oh, and the portal looks like an obsidian rectangle with purple stuff in the middle of it. I got you, dog. Okay, I'll see you. 
So are we just going to camp out here tonight? What else can we do? There's no possible way to get back to our timeline. Uh, I guess you have a good point. Wait, what if we built our own time machine? Trump, we have never been in this game before. How do you expect me to find a way to build a time machine with just blocks? Just let it go. It's practically a lost cause. Arnold, I am not going to give up. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to the mines. We're not staying in here for the rest of our lives. Please don't unalive. We don't know if we can respawn or not. Trust me, I am a literal genius when it comes to fending off mobs. Dude, this is as easy as it seems. You just mine, mine, and mine until you start hearing the hissing of a creeper. Ugh, that sound always gives me the shivers. I hope I don't run into any of those. Oh man, Trump has been gone for a bit. I should go look for him. Oh, hi there, little pig. How might you be doing on this terrible day? Man, you humans haven't spoken correctly since the great young and takeover. Whoa, I didn't know pigs could speak. You even understand me? Wow, you humans must finally be getting back into your old ways. Wait, you said something about a takeover. What did you mean by that? Well, a long time ago, aka three years ago, a person by the name Content Creator made a name for himself on social media. All his accounts totaled up to 272,233 followers. Insane, right? Anyways, he thought it was a smart idea to use that following to introduce them to his new way of speaking. And no, I'm not talking about another language. I'm talking about slang. He tricked everybody into using these slang words he came up with. And let me tell you, these words made absolutely no sense. He had them saying words like lit, bangers, poggers, etc. I thought people used those slang words already. Trump? What the heck? Why were you gone for two hours? Shush! I want to hear what else the pig has to say. Oh, that was actually all I was going to say. Do you want me to, like, sum it up or something? Yes. Youngin came out of his mom's basement and told his fan base to start using his slang. Uh, thanks for summarizing that. Hey, while you've been passing by, have you seen any people around? Maybe a guy who looks similar to Red Tie over here? I actually have. Unfortunately, he was one of the victims of this Youngin takeover. Oh, was he by chance good looking? Let's just say this. He looks exactly like you. No way. He's got the amazing hair and all. Never mind that, Donald. I just had a brilliant idea. Man, so this is what it was like for Joe to live here? That's crazy to think because... Wait, I gotta go. Uh, oh wait, this is Minecraft. Never mind. Whoa, what was that? Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, bro, uh, dog, uh, have for real seen my dork bluck on God? Trump, is that really you? Obama, I can't even. You toad showed up again. Uh, is everything good, Donald? You're talking a bit funny. Dog, that's like not rad to say. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, I've just never heard you ever talk like this. I don't know, bro. I always spoke like this. For how long? Just, I can't even with this guy. Look, just get off my back about it, my homie. I was just curious, all right? I'm sorry for bothering you. Hey, hold up and follow me. Literally a few years ago, this radical dude on the interwebs was like telling us to say these dope words and now we can't stop because he literally said to. So wait, why are you guys listening to a random dude? Are they trying to- Did you just assume his pronouns? No, I'm just trying to figure out why you guys are listening to this dude. Barack, come in here and look. Okay, this is starting to become very suspicious. Are you about to trap me or something? Yes, that's exactly what I was going to do. Boss, I caught one of them. Ah, huh, where could this portal be? Wait just a darn second. My computerized compass. I completely forgot about this. Let me just turn everything on, and it should point to where the portal is. 50 hours? I don't have time to wait that long. Ugh, I guess the only other thing I can do is... Wait, what is that? Oh, it's my walkie. Hello? Uh, hello? Is anyone there? I've been clicking this walkie for God knows how long. Joe? Is that you? Josh? Oh my goodness, I haven't seen you since the house bidding. The house bidding? Hold up. You're not Joe from this timeline? I don't know what a timeline is, but I just want to go home. I don't like being in Minecraft. Joe, listen to me. You're able to talk to me, which means that you're close. What does the surrounding area look like? Uh, what's a surrounding area? I kind of forgot some terms since I've been here for so long. The area around you, like, tell me what you can see out of your two eyes. Oh, well, I can see some grass and trees. Oh, and a sky. Okay, what type of trees are they? They're brown and white. Okay, so they're birch and dark oak. You must be in a dark oak forest. What else is there? Uh, there's a bit of water. Is it a little pond or what? This is definitely not a little pond. In fact, it's a really big pond. Joe, are you on an island? Because that's what it sounds like to me. That's what it's called. Yes, I'm on a little island. Oh, great. Now, I just have to look for an island. Ah! My walkie-talkie is beeping. Joe, someone is calling. You must be closer to whoever that is than me. Oh, I'm getting called, too. Hello? Josh, I'm in big trouble right now. What's going on? Well, I got trapped in some sort of hole by- Barack, you cut off! Say that again! Barack! Obama, what is happening to you? Josh, help me! Barack, 
Joe, I need to find you, and fast. Josh, was that Barack? Never mind that. Give me more info about your location. So, could you give me a recap on what we talked about earlier? Yeah, so basically, you asked if there were any smart guys around here, and I told you that this land did not have any of those anymore. But then I remembered that there was one survivor left from the takeover. And then Trump hopped on my back and nearly broke it because of the amount he weighs. Anyways, you asked where the guy was, and I told you, and now we're heading to him right now. Thanks for the recap. Uh, what should we call you? Oh, you can just call me Shaj. Alrighty, Shaj. Hey, Shaj, sorry for jumping on your back earlier. I just wanted to be reminded of the good old days of riding. It's alright, wait. What do you mean by- Oh, Soj, is this the place? Oh, yes. This is it. Welp, I wish you guys good luck on your adventures because I got a tuna casserole in the oven that needs to be taken out. Thanks for all the help, Soj. We really appreciate it. It's not a problem. All right, see you later. See ya! So, uh, do you want to knock? What's wrong? Are you scared the boogeyman is gonna jump out at you? No, I just have a long history of having people knock on doors for me and it sort of didn't go so well. Oh, I gotcha. Let me do this then. Uh, why is it taking so long? Do you think he's not home right now? Wait, what if he unalived on his couch, or worse, he could have turned into a ghost? Will you just... Uh... Oh, it's you hooligans again. Are you here to dump sand all over my house like you did to the other one? Wait, the smart guy he was talking about was actually just my vice president, Mike Pence. Whoa, I haven't heard you speak a coherent sentence since the olden days. Well, um, Mike, to be honest, we aren't from this timeline. We're from the skinny timeline, which I don't know if you're aware of. What the hell? You guys are from that timeline. Yes, and look, I'll cut to the chase. We need to find our other guys and somehow get the hell out of here before something bad happens. I think I may still have a way for you guys to get back, but you'll need to help me with something. We'll do anything we can to get back to our original timeline. Just let us know what you need. Follow me for now. I need you guys to take a look at what we're about to repair. So this is what we're fixing up. Oh wow, is this some sort of machine that will teleport us back? Yes and no. This machine was initially programmed to teleport a person or a group of people to different times and timelines until someone stole this machine and broke the whole system. Unfortunately, I'm not able to fix it because of the lack of minerals and power in the world. We lost a lot when that whole takeover thing happened. I don't know if this is useful to you, but I have these ores and stuff. Wait, where did you find this? I thought all the redstone and iron were mined by those teenagers. Well, I dug down and found a chest full of those two things. Wow. So they're hiding their value. Valuables underground? Interesting. Anyway, this is exactly what I need to fix the machine. However, this isn't an easy task for me to take on, so it'll take around a day to fix it. That's great! We'll be able to find them in that time period. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Finding people in this horrible place is one of the most tedious things you can do. Also, it's very unsafe since a lot of people carry bows now. This is insane. Arnold, I don't know if it's safe for us to do this. Donnie, you don't have a choice. We have to find these guys or else the timelines will be forever broken. Trump, listen to Arnold. He knows what he's talking about. Hey, how did you know my name? Oh, I know everyone's names. I've been to so many timelines and I can see and hear everything. That's a bit creepy, but whatever. All right, we're gonna... Wait, my radio is picking up some radio waves. Someone must be using walkie-talkies or something. Joe, I cannot see you. You are not on a flipping island. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh, that's Joe and Josh. Let me speak to them. Here, just speak into that. Okay, Joe, Josh, are you there? Can you hear me? Trump? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, I can also hear you as well. Trump, we have a serious issue. Obama is in trouble. Huh? What are you talking about? He and I were talking on the walkies, and then he yelled, Josh, help me! Holy shoot, did he say where he was? No, but I do have an idea of which way he went. Okay, we need to prioritize that then. Trump, let me give them the plan of action. Thank you. Josh, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, so we talked to someone about fixing up an old time machine of his, but he said that it's gonna take a day. We were going to use that day to find you guys, but now we have bigger issues. So, the new plan will go like this. We'll unite with you guys, then we'll scout around to look for Obama. After we find him, we're gonna get the heck out of here with the time machine. Boom! Don't forget about Joe. We have to look for him, too. But wasn't Joe just talking like a few seconds ago? Yeah, about that. He's actually our Joe. Wait, but how's that even possible? He would have had to use a time machine to get here. That doesn't matter right now. You guys just need to head south, and you'll see us. Whoa, south? You're asking for a lot of trouble, pal. What are you talking about? Well, haven't you heard? That's where some of the zombie apocalypse happened. Zombie apocalypse? Well, it's not nighttime, so it's fine. It's fine for now. I'd suggest both of you get out of there before it does turn nighttime. All right, all right, you just gotta give me time to find Joey. Oh, that's just great. You don't know where he is. Look, I'm trying my best right now. Uh, I'm trying my best too. Okay, make it fast because you two don't have much time. Roger that. I'll see you guys soon. All right, see you, Josh.
Oh, my good old pal, Obama. After all this time, I was finally able to catch you. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, nothing. You were just in my dungeon with your other friends. What other friends? That doesn't matter right now. What really matters is you telling me where your other friends went. Why in the world do you want to know? Well, let's just say that they need to come check out my dungeon, Mr. Obama. Your dungeon doesn't seem so cool. Hey, you look like Trump with red eyes. Are you evil or something? And Look, you can push this off as much as you want, but I'm not going to stop asking. Where are your friends located? I I'll never tell you, you crazy person. Oh, so we're going to play this game, huh? Well, let's just tighten these chains a little bit. Oh, what is happening? Ah, ha, ha, ha. That feels so great. Oh, don't worry. You're about to feel even better. What do you mean by that? Ah! Tell me where your friends are. I'm not telling you anything. Did you say do it again? Okay. Wait, no! Ah! Stop! I'll only stop if you just tell me where they are. Look, I don't know where all of them are. All I know is that Josh went north. That's all I know, I swear. I don't care about him. I want to know where the others are. Rise and shine, creepy. It's time for food again. Oh, man. I dreamt that I was out of this place, but then I woke up because of you. I don't care. Just eat this food so I can get out of this stupid cell. Dude, I don't like fish. I want milky and bread. Uh, well, too bad. Fish is the only thing on the menu, pal. Now eat it. All right. All right. Can I at least have a fork? Uh, just eat it with your hands. My hands aren't clean, though. Ah! Thanks to everyone on screen for becoming a member. Also, thanks for watching. Oh, what the heck? Where am I? Ron, what in the world have you been doing? It has been five months and you still haven't fixed anything. What? I did exactly what you wanted me to do. No, you didn't. And now I have to reverse it all. What do you mean you have to reverse it all? Well, since you didn't follow my instructions, the whole timeline started to break itself. And now I have to reverse it all so you can have time to do what you were supposed to do. Hey, is there a chance that you can reverse it back to when they created that time machine? If I do that, then everything will also break. Look, Reagan, there isn't an easy way out. You need to fix all all this. Wait, 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 what? What's wrong? I can't revert anything. What are you talking about? I can't revert a single thing because if I do, then everything will be gone. All the timelines, universes, just everything. So you're telling me I can't do anything about this? No, wait, what's happening? Ah! Denton. Goodbye, friend. Man, that was a crazy day. Oh, is that Obama and Joe over there? Wait, where am I? I'm just kidding. Where in the hell am I? Hey, Reagan, over here! Donald, what the hell? Are you in a portal or something? Just come in quickly, before the end sucks you up into it. The end? Whoa, what was that? Reagan, get the hell in now! Ah. Holy frick, you actually made it! Why the hell were you not moving faster? I don't know. I guess it's just a movie thing. Uh, where the hell am I? This isn't Minecraft. No, it's not. This is the real world. I, I'm confused. How is this possible? Let me tell you what has happened in the past 24 hours. Well, I think it was 24 four hours. Me, Mike Pence, and a man named Arnold were in a Minecraft world. Not sure which world, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, we were going to get some rest and head out in the morning to find Biden and a man named Josh. When we were walking out the door, there was a loud bang. Mike said that he never thought this day would come and to get into the time machine. When we got there, some of it was still broke. So Arnold pulled out his redstone bag and gave Pence the parts to fix it. Mike fixed it and we teleported away. The last thing I saw was was, well, the end. That's the best way to describe it because that was quite literally a void of nothing. Anyway, we ended up here and now I just play video games with Joe and Obama. Hold on, you're telling me that world ended? Well, yeah, unfortunately. Luckily, we got out in time and survived. I don't know about Joe or Josh, though. I think they may be gone. Oh, this is bad. I gotta freaking find Denton. Wait, you know Denton? Yeah, he sent me down to fix the timelines, but I kind of didn't really do that because I was paused in time for five months. Wait, paused in time? I think Mike mentioned something like that. Oh, Donna, you gotta come check out this game we found. It's about you. Whoa, who is that? Joe, this is Reagan. Apparently he's from the original timeline I told you about. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm going to set it up for us to play. Oh yeah, this Joe is kind of stupid. Wait, I thought that was the original Joe? No, he didn't make it, remember? Oh, right. Well, where's Mike? He clearly knows a bit about this whole thing. Just follow me. I'll show you. All right, he's just in here. What's up, Trump? Reagan? How in the world?
world did you get here? Well, long story short, my timeline broke. I got sent to the original one, and then Trump opened a portal, and I jumped through, and I'm now here. Reagan, you are the piece to the puzzle. I'm trying to get some things fixed so everyone can be in their correct timelines. And the one thing I need is someone else's DNA from a different timeline. What kind of DNA are we talking? Just put your finger on this DNA sucker. It'll just suck some dead skin off of you, and that'll be all I need. Ouch. What the hell? And that's perfect. Gentlemen, are you ready to go back to your timelines? Guys, I just want to say that even though I haven't known you guys for that long, I still think we had a great connection. Okay, this is lame. We... Holy frick, where am I? Hold on, I'm at my pop-up home. Wait, wait, wait. This was before every timeline was destroyed. Oh my gosh, I gotta find Joe. He's the one who started this whole thing. If I can stop him, then there'll be no time machine, no mess-ups, and most importantly, no more confusing lore. So Trump started to go as fast as he could before anything happened. I gotta go faster. Frick this. I don't wanna go back to being in such a confusing world with such confusing things. Come on, I gotta have a speed potion in here somewhere. Ah, uh, bingo. I knew I still had some in my inventory. Now the race is on. Oh man, I just hope Joe doesn't use that time machine because, whoa, I'm back. Where the hell? Oh, I gotta check for the time machine. Please be here. Frick, it's not. I gotta track Joe down. I never thought I would use this, but it's the only thing I can do. Man, it is kind of boring to just run. I might just take a little rest here because I'm getting tired. Wait, wait, I'm supposed to get Trump this time machine. I can't rest. Uh, maybe I can just place my bed right here and take a little nap. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? I'm waiting for something bad to happen. Man, this potion is helping me a little bit, but it's not enough. I think I might actually won't make it in time. Hold on, if I can remember right, Joe made it to my place the next day, but that was because he used the machine. Hold up, he could be using the machine any time now. Oh, this is a nice bed. I love you, bed. I hope I can cuddle you all the time. Ah, uh, there's a bug. Get away, get away. Okay, I'm getting some pings from this one area. And boom, there he is. Let me transfer this info to my portable device and we're all set. Hold on. Why isn't my device working? Oh, I forgot. Since all the timelines are cleared and fixed, that means any server with mods had all their mods removed. Just great. Whatever. I can mark it on my paper. X, Y, Z coordinates are written. Let's go fix everything. Mike packed up everything he would need and headed toward Joe's location. Little did he know what would happen next. This is one of the most stressful situations I've ever been in. Saving the universe from total annihilation is crazy. You're not saving him for long. What the hell? Who are you? Wait a second. Aren't you that? Oh, uh, okay. I might be getting close to home because I recognize this area pretty well. Hold on. This is really close to the spawn area. Oh my gosh, there it is, home. I gotta get there to see if anyone is there. Uh, hello? Is anyone here? I don't hear or see a single soul. Whatever. I just gotta keep going. Goodbye, town. I hope to bring back all my friends to this place. Donald, down here. Please help us. We were captured by him. Uh, Barack, it's no use. He already left. Mike, you're here. How the hell did that happen? If I was put into the original timeline and all other timelines don't exist anymore, then where the hell is everyone? Hold up, what's this? Hello, reader. It's your fellow British bloke, Boris Johnson. I've been searching for food and water for the past two weeks, and I have yet to find any. I I'm alone, hungry, thirsty, and tired. I just want to fall over and let my soul exit my body. If anyone finds this, I left a little something in the chest. It's nothing bad, it's just something that I've been carrying around for a while. Hey, there's a little fellow over there, I'm gonna go pet it. Boris, what the hell happened to you, man? I wonder what it was that he left in here. Look, I just stole your weed, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal, Don, I paid good money for that. Where did you even get that kind of money from anyways? This is what started everything. The war, the fighting, the messed up timelines. I ought to burn this. Not now. I have to hurry so I can stop Joseph from using that time machine. Meanwhile, Joe was getting ready again because he realized that he slept for almost three hours. Oh gosh, I forgot to set my alarm. I gotta go, go, go. Oh, I hate walking so, so, so much. Wait, maybe I could use the time machine. No, I can't. Mike told me not to use it. I just gotta keep walking. Oh, the sky is so pretty. I never noticed how nice it looked at nighttime. I should really stay up late next time so I can see this again. Wow. Mike, there is no way he's the one who is bad. He helped us and didn't stab our backs. Why does he even want to take everything over? I really don't know. But what I do know is that he's going to go after Joe or Trump next. Let's just hope Trump can get to Joe in time before he uses the time machine. And before he sends Joe to this place. Now, I don't think he would do that because he would only be ruining the timeline again by bringing 
him here. If I remember right, Joe came to me at the evening time, which means I got a few hours before he actually does it. Maybe that gives me some time to be able to sleep. Whoa, what the hell was that? I show yourself, I ain't afraid of you. Oh, hell no, I don't know what that is, but it ain't human. Frick, frick, frick. Get away from me. I'm not selling anything today. Go to a Minecraft YouTubers if you want to buy something from their basement. Please leave me alone. Oh, the noise is stopped. Wait, that usually means something bad is about to happen. And that also means that it's my cue to run. Sayonara, sucker, go haunt some other doofus around here. Oh, I got a lot of sleep, but I still feel a little bit sleepy. Wait, who's there? Do you have ice cream? Show me the ice cream. Ah, wait, that sounds like a monster. Run, run, run. Monster man, you won't catch me. I have my Biden blast to destroy things like you. Biden blast, wait. It didn't work. Oh, I forgot to charge it earlier. Gosh darn it. Okay, yeah, the noises are going away. Ha ha ha. I knew you were afraid of me, monster fella. Joseph. Uh, monster, get away. Joe, I am here for only one thing, and you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Hey, you talking monster thing, I don't have what you're looking for. Now, why don't you go scare someone else around here? I already did, but they didn't have what I was looking for. However, you have what I want, and that is the portable time machine. Now, all I ask is that you hand it over, and I'll spare you the suffering. Dog, you really think you're going to get this thing from me? Well, think wrong because I will not hand this over to a single soul for as long as I live. You may not give it to anyone, but you sure will use it at some point in your journey to the town. Wait, what are you talking about? I would never not follow anyone's rules. Well, here's the thing. You kind of didn't follow the rules and you used it. After that, everything started to break, friendships started to tear, and everyone came to hate your guts. You're lying. Oh, but I'm not. People hate you in the future because of what you have done. You used the time machine and everything got screwed up all because of you. And at that point, you're left with no friends, with just yourself and corner to cry in. Are you ready to experience hell in your life in the next few weeks, Joe? Are you? Because you sure aren't ready for that. Stress, no friends, loneliness, anxiety. Will you make yourself ready to experience every single bit of pain just because you used a time machine? If not, there's no point in keeping it on you. Very good, Joe. You made the right call. Now, I will need you to step around 50 blocks away. Alrighty, come to Papa. Hey, what the hell? Joe, run to town. Right now, I'll meet you there. Donald, get back here. No can do, bro. I know what you plan to do with this, and I will not let that happen. Never again. This thing will be taken care of once and for all. You can't do anything to it. You don't even know how to make it work. Just stop running and give it to me. Never. Oh, frick, that isn't good. Trump is being chased by him. Mike, we gotta get out of this place. Do you have any ideas or anything that could potentially help us with getting out of here? Oh my gosh, Obama, I do have something, but it's going to take a minute. We don't have a minute. They could be running through here in the next five minutes. You got to think of something faster. Something faster, huh? Oh, I got it. Holy shoot, what the heck was that? That's the sound of a faster way out of here. Now stand away from your door for a second. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, frick, you had D&T. Okay, sick. Where the heck are we supposed to go? Just follow me. I have a half thought out idea in my head. Ah, get off my back. You aren't getting this thing. Yes, I will. Rah! Nothing will stop me from starting a whole new world. Hold on, your voice is messing up. You sound so familiar. What the hell is happening? No. Josh, what the hell? You've been the one destroying everything. It's about time you notice. I started doing this ever since I was your magic mirror. Do you remember that? What? That was you? Yes, Trump, it was all me. I was the mirror, the traitor, and now, Josh. You were the magic mirror? I knew your voice sounded familiar. Hey, look, a bird. You aren't gonna get me with that old trick. Wait, what the hell? There actually is a bird over there. What? Where did you go? Frick, I should have been paying attention. What a buffoon, I got away from him. Now I have to get to town before it's too late. Oh, I'm almost to the town. I hope someone is there so I can tell them what just happened to me. Hello, is anyone here? Biden, is that you? Where are you at? Oh, I see you on my map. Joe, don't move a single bit. You just messed up one of the landmines we placed. Landmine? What are you guys doing with landmines? Biden, it's all a part of my plan. Now don't move while I deactivate the bomb so you can get off of it. Oh no, 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 no. What? What's wrong? Do you not have any internet down there? I do, but it won't let me deactivate it. Dang, frick. Joseph, I'm gonna try deactivating this thing so you don't die again. Okay, please be fast because I think I see Trump in the distance. Oh shoot, he's gotta distract him a little bit more. Oh, there's the town. I gotta be there and fast. Town and friends, here I come. You really thought you could lose me. Ha ha, that can never happen because I know your every move. Oh crud, dude. Why do you even want this thing? Don't you wanna live a normal life again? You don't understand. For 
all my life I've had to put up with you and your friends, and it's time I finally took care of it once and for all. Because of me and my friends. We sure as hell didn't do anything to you. I don't know what you're talking about. I used to work with Denton. Him and I watched over everything to make sure everything was fine. But then, you and your cronies came here and it was all ruined. Drugs, fighting, wars, etc. Denton blamed me for it all because I apparently wasn't watching and just looking at myself in the mirror, which is kinda true, but that doesn't matter. He kicked me out afterwards, and I became a mirror. So you're telling me that your laziness is the reason that everything bad is happening in this world? No, it was all because of Denton. He should have been watching you guys 24-7. Now I want the machine. Never, Joe, he's behind me, run. Trump, stop, this is a landmine, go around. Uh... What, no. Holy frick, he hit it. Joe Trump, are you guys alive? Guys, please answer me. I have to go see. Oh no, no, Donald, Joe, they're gone. Oh, and there's Josh's stuff. No. Hey, whoa, who's there? Hello? Mike, I'm alive. Donald threw some potion on me before he ran over the landmine. Oh, Donald, why did it have to end like this? Mike, let's go. Today we gather here to see our friend one last time. He was willing to save Joe's life over his, and now we will say our final words to him. Trump, you were quite the friend. You taught me a lot throughout the creative mode war and through now about how to live life and to be helpful to others. I know you tried to stop the war before with a peace treaty, but it didn't work. I guess that's just the way it is. Trump, while you were here, it was awesome. I don't know what I would have done without you. Man, one of my bestest friends is gone. Uh, Donald, I'm sorry for everything that I have caused. If I wasn't stupid and signed that treaty, you wouldn't be buried six feet under. Trump, you were quite the character when it came to doing things. You always made jokes and tried to move on from things that didn't matter. You didn't care about what anyone thought of you. You were just you, and I respect you for that. Trump, thank you so much for being my friend. I know I wasn't there to see what happened to you, but I heard it, a loud boom, that's all I heard. And then I find out that you caused the loud boom and took out Josh. Trump, you don't know how much this means to us. You taking out the man who has ruined everything is a really brave thing of you to do. Donald, my most final words to you are a bit cliche, but you will genuinely be missed. I don't care what anyone says about it. You helped a lot and you deserve the rest. All right, well, I guess that's that. Yeah, I guess. Hey, you guys want to rebuild the town? Hell yeah, let's freaking do it. So with Donald's passing, it really inspired the three to bring back what was once great. They rebuilt everything. They restored order in the town, and most importantly, they finally ended the war. It took a mighty long time to get to this point, but it was all worth it in the end because Trump was finally at rest. The town was getting everyone together again. But wait, there's one more thing. All right, we got away from them. Hey, Reagan, are you there? Where did you go? Ooh, whoa, I'm, I'm finally back. I never thought I would finally see this world again. And there's the town Josh always talked about. I gotta go check this out. Get tired and I get sick and then I lose the strength.
Thanks to everyone on screen for becoming a member. Also, if you become a tier two member, then you can watch new videos before they release. Thanks for watching.